Welcome into the Cowboys Report. I am Tom Downey as we get ready for Cowboys against the Cardinals live in the Fox NFL game of the week. The Cowboys didn't really get the help they would have liked from a team like the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. They managed to rally late and take down the Jets in a pretty strong comeback effort. Thanks for nothing, New York. Of course, Dallas can still control its path to, at least get some help to control their path, I should say, to the number two seed and maybe the number one seed if the Packers, a.k.a. the Vikings, give them some help with Sean Mannion at quarterback. But winning is the first step to at least securing the number three seed for Dallas, which they cannot clinch today. What is your confidence level then in the Dallas Cowboys getting a win today? Scale it for me one to ten. How you feeling about Dallas pulling out a win in this particular game? I'll give some shout outs here. I'll make sure to sip my water so my throat doesn't dry out as the Bengals, by the way, have upset the Chiefs to secure the AFC North. So that's a big deal for Cincinnati. The Chiefs are now, uh, yeah, now they might not get the number one seed. There you go. Uh, I see 10, 8, 6.5, 8, 9, 7, 7.5, 10s 7 from Leanne Mata and Bryce Swaim. Jeffrey says 10. Jason says 9. Connor says 8. Mojo, the only, says 7.5. Concrete says 6. Jigsaw Puzzle says 9.5. D Goat says 8.5. King Trill says 8. D Goat mentioned him. Amin, 6.9. That is always the correct answer, of course. Uh, 10 from Robert Knowles. Sevens from Lamar and Blue Roth and Vincent and Malachi and Lamar and Dash XL. So a lot of sevens seems to be like the quote, like the, the mean, the average vote there, which I think is about right. This line, by the way has changed fairly significantly from what it opened as a two-and-a-half-point favorite. That's what Dallas opened at, which is indicative more of a, you know, a, a, a true tight matchup, the three points-ish you get at home, have been, been in Arizona, maybe they would have been favorites. Now, that line has moved all the way up to seven in favor of the Cowboys, a surprisingly high spread. I wouldn't be surprised, I'm going to double-check right now, if it got betted back down. That's, that's a lot. For a team, it is back down to six and a half as we sit here just now, move back down. But it has jumped all the way up to seven. So we'll keep it at seven for our purposes here. Will the Cowboys cover that spread? Y for yes, N for no. If you feel good about Dallas doing that, then you should probably head over to BetUS, chatsports.com slash bet. Use promo code Cowboys125 to get yourself the 125% deposit bonus. It's a big spread. For Dallas, the implied spread is around 30 to 22, 30 to 23, right in that area. It's a, that's a big gap for any team to cover. Dallas, of course, has been awesome covering the spread as it's very hot in here, so I'm going to do a button. Uh, no, you're good. It's not because of you, Jeremy. Nice try, you loser. Uh, the Cowboys have been really good about covering spreads as of late. We will see if that continues. We're already getting super chats here. We'll get to those momentarily. I see you, Jonathan Munn and Cobra. Get those votes in. Y for yes, N for no. I think we have that super chat menu graphic. We'll go to that here as well. I mean, I'm intrigued by it. That seven and a half, that seven point spread. I think I, I got Dallas in at like four earlier this week, which I felt good about. Now it's a full seven, so you know, I feel confident in Dallas. I think this will be a much tougher game than what they've had in recent weeks, which shouldn't be a huge surprise given who they've been playing against as of late. That This is a much tougher opponent than the Washingtons, the, the Giants, and even the Saints. Is They could still be a playoff team. Washington, of course, was eliminated from the postseason earlier today. About time, Jeremy. All right, Jonathan Mudd, as the, again, we got that issue, but we'll bring it up anyway here. When will you eat crow for the Parsons draft pick criticism, Tom Downey? I've eaten crow many a time. Happy to continue to do it. I was not anticipating Micah Parsons being anywhere near this level. I don't think anybody really was. This level of impact as a pass rusher. The real concern was less about the talent, which I had a first-round grade on him, and a lot more about the value of an off-ball linebacker. He hasn't been an off-ball linebacker, and that makes me very, very happy. All right, super chat from uh, Cobra. I know we're having issues there. When you get a chance, try and... Yeah, I know when you get a chance. I know it's not your fault, Jeremy, but work on it. Shot time from Cobra. Cheers, my friend. Let's get the Super Chat menu, too. 
A couple $5 here from Matthew Cardona. Uh, Jets went vintage Jets and threw. I was yelling like when I, like I was watching Dallas with Chaz Green. It's from Matthew Cardona. Yeah, um, that was bad. I, a quarterback sneak on fourth and two? What are you doing? Run an actual football play. I, I, look, I, I don't mind going for it in that scenario. That decision, though, was a, a horrific one. I, I love going for it, trying to win. A complete failure, though, from that perspective. And then from Jordan King, haters are already here. I think they mad because their favorite player, A.B., went AWOL again. Let's give, let's go, Dallas. Give me bragging rights. I forgot, Jordan King's brother is a Cardinals fan as well. Yeah, the Jets blew it. They had a chance. And the, the craziest part, the biggest story from that game, in case you missed it, was Antonio Brown leaving the game in the middle of it. The Bucks were down against the Jets. He just got up and peaced out. Peace to the crowd, took off, took off his gear, and just left. What a joke. All right, Super Chat menu. First off, $5 Super Chat equals a beer cheers. I owe some beer cheers here, my friend. Bottoms up. That's for those. Did I do one more? I should have did one too many beer cheers. Oh, well. $20 is shot time, and Jay's coming up with another Super Chat. We'll get to that here momentarily. Uh, $20, by the way, is shot time. $15, I will finish my beer. Oh, that's why I did the $25. $20 for shot. $25, I guess I'll do a shot and a beer cheers. $50, I get to slap around producer Jeremy a little bit. So again, $5 beer cheers. $15, I'll finish my beer. 20 is shot time, 50 to kind of slap around producer Jeremy. Have some fun on that one right there. Some more Super Chats coming in as well. I see you, Muology, a.k.a. Jace, and Joshua Smith. We'll get to those here in a little bit as well. Uh, the, by the way, quick news note for you guys. Uh, the Bucks have cut Antonio Brown, by the way. He gone. Uh, Bruce Arians asked post game. I'm not talking to him. He's no longer part of the Buccaneers. What an absolute disaster that ended up being. So again, our super chat menu, folks. Five dollar beer cheers. Fifteen finish beer. Twenty shot time. Fifty. Uh, I will slap producer Jeremy. Muology, aka J, says Kyler Murray thinks about snapping the ball. Micah Parsons. I'm gonna do a shot for that one. Thank you, Jace. You're always stepping up. Ooh, we got got a back and forth between the vodka and the fireball because that's more fun. More fun that way. Yeah, new cap on this. Bottoms up, my friend. This was the Jordan King one from earlier. Thank you again, Jordan. I appreciate that. Joshua Smith says, let's go Brandon, which doesn't make any sense to me because the only Brandon on the Cowboys is Brandon Smith, who's a, a practice squad, and the Cardinals have no Brandon, so... Cheers, I guess, but it's Let's Go Cowboys, Joshua. And for Jace, we'll bring it up real quick. Here was his super chat. I think we got that issue figured out there. Uh, I, I, did, I did the shot for it. So we're two shots deep and quite a few beer cheers as well. Let's head over now to the Cowboys inactives in this game. They're down eight players in total, three of which are because of COVID. The other five are healthy scratches. First, the three players with COVID for Dallas on the co the COVID-19 list. Keanu Neal, the linebacker, for the second time this year. Keanu Neal, out. He is going to miss three games this year, unvaccinated, tested positive for the second time this year because of COVID-19. That leaves Dallas very thin at the linebacker position. It leaves them with Micah Parsons, Leighton Van Der Esch, and Luke Gifford because Francis Bernard also out with COVID. Also a groin injury, by the way, for him. Quinton Bohanna on the COVID list as well, leaving them close walking. Zebo Gallimore, Oso Odigizua, Tristan Hill. I think you'll see a lot of three safety looks between Donovan Wilson, Demonte Casey, J. Ron Curse, and Malik Hooker being involved heavily in this one. The other healthy scratches for Dallas, no real surprises here. Kind of par for the course as of late. Will Greer, Steve Aoko himself back from the COVID-19 list. Matt Farniak also out. 
Maurice Kennedy not going, and Israel Mukwamu. Those are the five inactives today for the Dallas Cowboys. Let's do a pick the quarterback question for you guys here. I almost made this the pin poll, but I wanted to see how you guys felt about the Cowboys covering a seven-point spread. Pick a QB for me. DP for Dak Prescott, or type in KM for Kyler Murray. we got about, about five minutes here. The Cowboys are in their color rush, by the way, today, folks. DP for Dak Prescott, KM for Kyler Murray. Well, a lot of DPs bonk for producer Jeremy. Get your head out of the gutter. And Jace is going to get a little slap action for producer Jeremy. Three rapid-fire super chats here. Uh, I'll, I'll shout out Ed Vila's $2 one just real quick here. Will, uh, will us winning big here inform our playoff run? I think it boosts your confidence going into the postseason. You really want this game to keep your number one seed chances alive. You want this game to help out your chances of the number two seed. Play better, but that's a big deal for Dallas if they get this win over Arizona. We'll see how things end up going from that perspective. Curious to see how it all ends up going down in the end as Dallas is, again, the favorites in this game. Get those DPs or KM ins. Oh, and everyone type F in the chat for Porter Beal. Sat Jamar Chase in fantasy. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. I'm so sorry. Absolute brutality there. All right, from Alexander Forte. Let's do that one here. Hey, Tom, how do you think we should act the cards on offense and defense today? Defensively, I think you want to contain Kyler Murray as best as possible. Keep him inside the pocket where his dynamic with his legs isn't as big of a threat. Offensively, look, Arizona hasn't done that great of a job uh, stopping the deep pass. I would love to see Dallas air it out, do what you did against Washington, that has worked particularly well. So, Alexander, thank you very much for that super. From Jordan King, uh, Packers, go get A.B. Ruin your season, please. Go Dallas, I appreciate that one. There's Alexander Fortes. We'll bring that one up here real quick. I think I, hopefully I answered that properly for you. And then Muology, a.k.a. Jace. Hey, Jeremy, it's slap time. Remember, 50 bucks, I will slap producer Jeremy. Tom, about, uh, you like Micah Parsons to do to Kyler Murray, Mark pa M Micah Parsons' time, baby. That was the $50 one. Thank you. So you can come on up here. We'll go full screen, producer Jeremy, and slap you around. We, we, we already got that one. Um, we've, we've gotten all the ones that are five or more. So we're good. Um, I'm excited to slap producer Jeremy. I think you will try to utilize Parsons as a spy on base downs, as an off-ball linebacker on base downs, and then hopefully use him as a, as a pass rusher in those high leverage situations because of your thinness at linebacker, I think you might see Parsons a bit more there. And, of course, some more nickel or big nickel packages, which is three safeties on the field. Thank you, Jace, for the super chat. You beat Washington. No, no, don't move. No move. You got to stand there and take it like a man. Quit moving. Let's go, bird. Get out of here. Can't, I cannot wait for you to wear the Cowboys jersey next week, Jeremy. You want Sean Lee or Tony Romo, or, or did you buy the pink one? You said you were going to buy a pink Dak Prescott jersey. Have you done that? All right. Well, we'll see if you end up doing that there in the uh, end. Tom, asking me what kind of Cowboys jersey mm -hmm. I want on, like mm -hmm. what color or what size, it's like basically asking me what shade of shit I want, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like, do you want a dark one? Do you want a light brown? Do you want, like, the green? Like, what Runny kind of, or thick. What kind of crap do you want? All right, more Super Chats. Come on, let's get to Matthew Reed's on screen here. I will shout out, it's Mayberry, $2. Tom, you were right. I jinxed the Jets. Warned you. Can't do that stuff with Brady and the Bucks. They this close. Run a better fourth down play. I will also shout out Jason Rempo's $2 Super Chat as well. Thank you very much. You're quite kind there, as we are just moments away here from kickoff. By the way, Tyron Smith is playing today for Dallas. He is active in this game. Cowboys will get the ball to start here. Arizona won the toss. They deferred, as has been the case as of late for Dallas. Corey Clement is still back to return this kick, so they continue to not utilize Tony Pollard in that role. Matt Prater's kick down the right side high and will be brought out on the goal line by Clement. 
He gets to the 15-yard line, gets the 20 out of bounds right there. That is where Dallas will take over. 14.55 to go in the first quarter. See what Dallas is able to dial up here on offense to open up this ball game. Mualgi says, Jeremy, shush your face, or drop another 50 and come do it myself. Also, shout out Jordan King. Let's get Jeremy a Jalen Smith jersey. Nah, that's lame. Very wide camera angle to open up the game here. I don't mind it. First and 10 from the 20. Cooper motions to the left side. Prescott looking that way. Now resets over the middle. Nearly picked, but caught by Michael Gallup for a gain of nine. Jordan Hicks almost picked it, but it got through. And it's a big pickup. Second and inches now. Cowboys going tempo. You love to see it. Prescott under center. Elliott the lone back. Seven yards behind him. Quick screen to Gallup. Gets the first down. Type in first. A good pickup there by Gallup who lost his glove on the play. Off coverage. Dak just threw a little quick slant. Not even a slant. A little swing. Heavy package coming in. McGovern coming in the game. He checks in as eligible. Mualgi says Brett Maher jersey for Jeremy. Under center from the 35-yard line. Heavy package to the right. It's a give to Elliott left side, up the middle. And he gets about three yards on that one, maybe four. Second down coming up. Cooper, Lamb, and Wilson, the receivers now. Schultz and Elliott at tight end and running back. Buda Baker's rolled down seven yards outside the line of scrimmage. Now the outside corner steps off, so off coverage for Dallas. Another $50 super chat. Dak Prescott drops back. Pressure coming. Caught. Nearly dropped by Schultz. That got to get rid of that, rid of that one quickly, but it's a first down pickup. Remy Gordon, I see your super chat. Next break, we'll slap around producer Jeremy. Don't worry. I also will shout out, uh, I'll just do the shout out for Matthew Reed's super chat here. You can go to Jeremy, or go to Jace's real quick here. Shush your face. Cheers. And there's the $5 one from Jace. It's Dak Prescott, all on scrimmage. I see you, Matthew Reed. That's about AFC matchup. I don't care about that. Super Bowl. We'll get there later. Handoff to Elliott. Dropped in the backfield. Chandler Jones came crashing around. So after a first couple first down pickups, now Dallas in second and 11. From Remy Gord, not saying McCarthy hasn't brought value, even though I don't see it. If he has, there's no ways value is above Quinn. Why is risking Quinn as Dak rolls out, boot left, pumps. Now finds Schultz. Schultz makes a man miss and gets to midfield and spun forward the 48-yard line. Third down coming up. Uh, why is risking losing Quinn, considering how he's up from the defense? Keep Quinn. I understand why you want to keep Quinn. I do. Um, Dallas has had one of their better years in a while. They come prepared quite a bit. I don't want to take away from what McCarthy is doing. I think he's done a good job, but that's a postseason conversation. Then we'll slap around Jeremy here in a little bit. Third and four from the 48-yard line. Lamb motions, then comes back to the right side. Trips right, tight formation. Prescott barking out signals now. Cardinals showing a blitz up the middle. Showing all-out blitz, by the way. We'll see if they bring it. Play clock at four. They do not bring it. Dak Finds Elliott who catches it after dropping it, and Elliott gets almost all of it. There's also a flag on the play. It's going to be holding on Dallas. So fourth and one, I think they should accept this if you're Arizona. They call holding on Tyron Smith. They're going to repeat third down and forever coming up now. That's not really holding. Do you do you think Tyron Smith gets treated unfairly because he's he, huge? He gets he gets more calls that shouldn't be calls than anybody in the NFL. Now it's third and fourteen. Prescott dropping back against the four man coverage. Resetting, rolling to his right, looking downfield, off balance, heaves it and just throws it away. Nobody open. They dropped everybody on third and forever. 
So Dallas has to punt thanks to the holding. Holding call ruins a solid drive. After the punt, Jeremy, go full stream. will come slap you around a little bit. Anger on for the punt now. Punts away. That's Pro Bowl punter Brian Anger. It's a good one. Bounces at the 10 and then net down at about the 16. So a good punt as Luke Gifford downs it. Cardinals will take over, backed up deep in their own territory. Thanks to Remy Gordon's $50 Super Chat, we're going to smack producer Jeremy again. You excited for this, Chugs? That just makes me want to hit you harder, man. All right. Non-hand or ring hand? Want the ring hand? Right there, ring hand? There you go. I, I, I kind of got your neck a little bit there. You, you all right? You, you might just make the playoffs, Jeremy. Maybe. We'll see what happens this week. Or next week, I should say. What's up? I, I wish nothing more than Eagles, Cowboys, wild card game. And the Cowboys. And to watch you, you cry. I will, watch you cry I will be in, in mm -hmm. your own tears. If you haven't already, folks, hit that big red button and subscribe for free Cowboys videos. We're still early here in the first quarter after a holding call. Killed it was a pretty damn good and pretty solid Cowboys drive. Uh, maybe a first and ten run shouldn't have been called either, but it is what it is. Free Cowboys videos every single day right here on the Dallas Cowboys report. If you want to be an MVP, be a loyal of a watcher as MG. Watches every single show for the entirety of live, even though I think he's a Washington fan. I'm not sure on that one, but I know I've seen him cheering for it. But look at those ads as well, MG. Free videos every single day right here on the Dallas Cowboys Report. All right, for every 500 likes, folks, I will do a shot. Done a shot of Fireball and a shot of Vodka at this point. We are at 2.06. As we got another super chat from Jace, because we'll of that one here in a little bit. See what Dallas is able to do on defense here against the dynamic and dangerous Kyler Murray. Nothing else going on that matters for the Cowboys until Sunday night football when the Packers take on the Vikings. We are all Sean Mannion fans this week, but uh, kind of doubt it ends up happening in the end. Cardinals football, they're backed up. This is the Cowboys pregame in honor of both John Madden and Dan Reeves. The 16-yard line. Fox taking their good old sweet time running all of the commercials here. From Jace, I'm so glad I started the slapping trend with Mitch. Heart emoji. Cheers, my friend. I've enjoyed it. It's fun. Curse. KZ are the safeties here. Curse lined up in the box. Parsons lined up as an edge, so it looks more like a 3-4 front, but it's only a 4-3. The linebacker rolled down. Motion. Jet sweep for the Cardinals. It's a big pickup. 20, 30. Huge gain. Van Der Esch finally makes the tackle. Greg Dortch out of Wake Forest. A jet sweep. He got to the edge. What a first play by the Cardinals. Parsons sucked inside. Van Der Esch is too slow. Drink every time you say that, Jeremy. Yeah. Just saying, Kyler Murray never lost at AT&T. So first and 10 now from the 40. Murray under center. Give to Edmonds. Cuts it back up. Makes another man miss, and he gets a gain of 13 on that one. They crash down hard. Jordan Lewis and Parsons couldn't make the play. Van Der Esch finally does, but downfield. So two tackles for Van Der Esch, but 
way, way downfield. Cardinals marching. Give to Edmonds. Edmonds wrapped up for a gain of one. Great play there by Carlos Watkins. That is a Texans legend, Jamie. Or, oh, I said Jamie. Jeremy. I say, where did Jamie come from? I don't even know any Jamies. Murray in the shotgun now. Inside Cowboys territory. From the 45-yard line, heavy trips left. Now they motion Dorch. No Rondell Moore. No DeAndre Hopkins. Murray play action over the middle. Tipped and nearly picked. Oh, Anthony Brown almost had it. That would have been six by A.B. Third and nine. Type in stop. Get the stops in. Edmonds, Kirk, I would assume Green, Ertz, and Dorch maybe? Or is that, I think that's Isabella at the bottom of the screen. Cardinals going right to left. Cowboys playing off coverage on third and nine. Five across the, the first down marker. Murray, shot downfield. Diggs got beat. And it's a huge pickup by A.J. Green. Down to the three. Watching the replay now. Diggs bit hard on the double move, and it's a big pickup. Green down to the three. It's You guys got to relax. Two drives. You guys do this every single game. You've been wrong more often than you've been right. First and goal from the three. Handoff, Edmonds bounces it out and taken down at the one by Vander Esch, Diggs, and Wilson. Second and goal from the one, DCXXX. I see your super chat. We'll get to it here in a little bit. Second and goal. Eight twelve to go in the first quarter. Cardinals in the shotgun. Two receivers right, two tight ends left. Edmonds offset to the left of Murray as well. Cowboys don't have the numbers on the right side. They're misaligned. Quick pass, batted in the air. Nearly picked by Diggs. Almost made a great diving play. Super chat from DCXXX. It's shot time, by the way. Laying all my bowl winnings on the money line for Dallas. Woo! Hope you're right. Here's our super chat menu, folks. $5 beer cheers. 15, I finish my beer. 20, shot time. 50, I slap producer Jeremy. Cheers, my friend. Third and goal, Murray under center. I would just sneak it. Need a stop here. Tough to get it. False start. Cardinals O-line jumped. That'll back him up five yards. Keep the stops coming. I'll shout out the $2 super chats here. Uh, Cashlet Campbell is Hooker playing. He's better than Casey. I would agree, but no, he is not playing. At least I haven't seen him. I'm sure he'll get some reps at some point, but has not played yet. Mailman Mike Diggs gets beat on double moves. That's his issue. It's it's part of the rest. It's why he has 11 touchdowns or interceptions, excuse me, and why he has so many yards allowed too. Inside the Bet US red zone now from the six yard line. Cardinals motion, Christian Kirk to the right side. Trips formation right. Edmonds to the left of Murray. Still trips. Murray looking right under duress. Lawrence can't bring him down. There's a flag in the play. Thrown away. Should be holding on Arizona. See what the flag is for. Might be an illegal shift too. Illegal shift, decline it, go fourth down. Good job, defense. Great job there by the Cowboys. TSW winning my fantasy football championship. First time in 16 years. Congrats, man. That's awesome. That's fantastic. I went 0 for 3 in all my semifinal matchups. Brutal. Matt Prater on for the chip shot field goal from 24 yards, the left hash. That one is good. So Dallas, despite allowing three really big plays on that drive, 
a 42-yard pass, a 24-yard run, a 14-yard run. They hold Dallas, or hold Arizona, to just three. But type in boo, nonetheless. Not a disastrous outcome, though, in the end. Now, today's show is powered by our sportsbook partner, BetUS. Head over to chatsports.com slash bet. And use promo code COWBOYS125. Both that link and that promo code are going in the comments right now, thanks to producer Jeremy, who you can always type boo, boo for if you want. But thank you for doing that, Jeremy. Appreciate it. Uh, put down 100 bucks. You will get an extra 125 for free. That's, in, that's that way. In case you got some bets wrong, like we all do, we all miss bets, you still got a ton of leftover money to bet with and have some more fun throughout the season, betting on games you wouldn't normally care about at all. Uh, for example, I think I took the Chargers today. Feeling good about them. Saints, well, they're not doing great against Carolina. I always avoid betting on Seattle because they only play weird games. Remember, folks, every 500 likes, I'll do a shot. Yeah, we got almost 2,000 people watching live right now, and we got 316 likes. It's kind of disappointing, kind of sad, frankly. Let's get that changed. Like the video right now. It's vodka shots. I'm going to pour it right now because I know I, I trust you guys to get us there. Liking's easy. I like that, producer Jeremy. He's going sub only chat for the Cowboys' upcoming drive. We could do touchdown, field goal, turnover, or a punt there. All right, Cowboys down 3 0. We're at 402 likes. Let's get there, guys. Come on, help me out. My wife's not here. I'm free. Help, help me get hammered while she's gone. 470. We're right there, guys. Come on. 488. Jordan King heard my brother cheering and just went silent. Okay, Jordan. It'll be okay. Jordan's brother, by the way, is a Cardinals fan, so a bit of an inter-family rivalry. Touchdown, field goal, turnover, or punt as we got to 500 likes. Bottoms up, friends. There we go. We are on sub-only chat, so if you want to comment, have some fun. Got a sub, man. Getting closer to 1,000 likes, by the way. 2,000 people watching live. Prater's kick is away. Clement, from his own end zone, will kneel that one. Good job. 7.46 to go in the first quarter. I think touchdown drive would be nice. I'm going to speak it into existence here. Speak it into existence. I hate you, Jeremy. I hate I hate you so much. Empty set look for Dallas. Prescott. Sideways screen. Nearly picked. Dallas was the Cardinals were sitting on that one. Cardinals were waiting that on that one. That should have been six for Arizona. Baker only got his fingertips on it. Maybe stop doing the screen. I don't know. Prescott in the shotgun. Second and ten. Trips right. Tight end left. Hand off to Pollard, who gets a yard and a half. Oh, it's to Elliot, excuse me. So first down, disaster screen call. Second down, one yard run. Prescott in the shotgun. Trips left, Schultz outline in the slot. Dak audibles again, play clock down to nine, eight, seven, six. Snap comes, Cardinals bring pressure, Prescott 
Steps up, checks it down to Elliott. Elliott gets the first down and gets to the 40. QB and running back bail you out after two bad plays there. Big third down pickup. Cardinals dropped all but four, and nobody went with Elliott. Elliott did a great job to cut it up field, beat Isaiah Simmons. First and 10, 41 yard line. Play action, screen to Schultz. Schultz making man miss. Gets to the 50, the first down. Type in first. A tight end screen works. How about that? Schultz has made some men miss after the catch today. Jordan Hicks couldn't bring him down. I think that was Michael Dogby finally did downfield. Cowboys ball once again back in Cardinals territory from the 48-yard line. Play action, boot right. Prescott to Lamb. Lamb to the 40. Stiff arm out of bounds right at the first down marker. They'll put him a yard shy. Second and one coming up. From Rome Boyce, let's go Cowboys. Shots, everyone. It's 20 for shots, not two, 20. But I appreciate the super chat, Royce, or Rome. Thank you. Second and one. Pollard checks in the game. Cowboys and Dak audibling at the line here. It's a light box. Safety's playing too deep. Prescott in the shotgun. Dak audibling. Cardinal showing cross-side blitz. Pollard dancing around. Got back to the original line of scrimmage. If he had just gone left the whole time, I think he gets that. Third and one. I don't know why Pollard had to jump back to the right side of this. Space was on the left. I'm going to sound like my dad and mm -hmm. such a boomer here, but quit dancing around and get, get the ball down the field. It's true. Third and one. Heavy formation set. Lamb the running back. Elliott the fullback here. Prescott under center. Give to Elliott. Elliott did not get it. Fourth and one and a half now. Fourth and one and a half. I like going for it here, but man, two brutal plays by Dallas. I think, I think you're right. I think Zach Martin did get beat. All right, fourth and one and a half now. Really fourth and two. Prescott under center. Play action. Wide open. Schultz the first down. 30. 25 out of bounds there. Easy first down. Nobody went with the play action on Schultz. Easy pickup. Good throw by Prescott. Schultz is going to get a bag from somebody. This like, see, he's going to get paid. He's not, he's not a good space blocker. In line, he's good, though. First and 10 from the 26 now. Pollard in the game. Malik. Or that's Jeremy Sprinkle in the game as well at tight end. They gave Dalton Schultz a breather here. Pump, screen, batted in the air, incomplete. Three screens already as nobody picked up Michael Dwumfor. I think that's Dwumfor. And uh, that's actually Victor Dmukaji, the edge rusher out of Duke. Second and 10. Trips right. Schultz back in the game. Inline tight end. Prescott to Pollard with some space. Cuts it up field. Gets about six of it. Maybe seven. Third down coming up. Third and short. 325 to go in the first quarter. I agree. Stop the screens. Type me if you don't want to see any more screen plays. Third and four, empty set. Cardinals showing pressure again. The last time they did this is some oh, false start. 
Cardinals say somebody moved for Dallas. It's a false start on the center. Oh, he did move. He did move. It's a good job by Corey Peters to walk off. Center's got one job, and he messed it up. All right, third and long again. From a, at that position, it's just don't move. Third and nine. In the shotgun, trips right. Schultz, the lone man to the right side. Prescott with pressure coming. Drops back. Shot over the middle. Misses Amari Cooper. I don't know if Cooper ran the route Dak thought he was going to there. Either way, it's incomplete, fourth and nine. Zerline on for the extra for the field goal from 43 yards. God damn it, Zerl. I'm so fucking over this kicker. Get this fucking kicker off my team. Fucking Greg Zerline, man. Misses it wide left again. You false start on third and, and short. You miss Cooper from Dak. And then your idiot kicker misses it again. This is the game. You can't have this happen. Greg Zerline is not a good kicker, guys. Get him out of here. F in the chat. 43 yards. He's always supposed to make that. Missed it wide left. Absolutely brutal. I hate Greg Zerline. He sucks. He's not good. Matthew says cut the kicker already. You've lost two games this year by like a combined five points. In those two games, your kicker has cost you 11 points. Just throwing it out there. Bad. Your kicker's bad. Like, all right. Today's show powered by BetUS. Head over to chatsports.com slash bet. Promo code Cowboys125. Get you a 125% deposit bonus. Again, chatsports.com slash bet. Promo code is Cowboys125. That link, courtesy in the comment section, courtesy of producer Jeremy, makes your lives a little bit easier. Chatsports.com slash bet. Promo code Cowboys125. We asked you earlier what's your confidence level in a Cowboys win today. Dallas trails 3 no nothing, thanks to your kicker shanking it wide left. Again, he only misses left. It's a disaster. Just a disaster. Give some shout outs here. 1, 10, 5, 4, 8, 3, 7, 7, 3, 7, 6, 10, 7, 6, 5. No surprisingly. New poll coming up here? Should the Cowboys cut Greg the leg? There you go, producer Jeremy. The answer is yes, by the way. He sucks. I can't wait for these votes to come in. 85% early say yes. It'll be Cowboy or Cardinals ball. The 25, thanks to the missed field goal by Greg Zerline. We'll get to Blood Slinger Super Chat here in a little bit. Murray back under center. It's actually from the 33. Hand off to Edmonds. Spins out of a Parsons tackle, but only a gain of one. Van Der Esch finished him off. Second down. Second and nine coming up here for the Cardinals. From Blood Slinger, no excuse for that. Indoors, home stadium, and you missed that. Greg, the, the neg strikes again. I like Greg no leg. All right, second and nine. 
Kirk in motion. Lewis following him. Murray looking that way. Over the middle. Caught by Ertz, who almost broke a tackle. But J. Ron Curse brought him down for a gain of two or three. Third down. Type in stop. Type in stop. Michael Campbell, it seems like every time Aikman comments, we lose. Not quite true. He's commented quite a few games, but normally they play, he calls against the good games when you're more likely to lose because the opponent's better. Third and a long five here. Third and five and a half. Empty set. Murray or Diggs playing press against A.J. Green. Murray looking left. Shot downfield. Broken up. Anthony Brown, a great job on Antonio Wesley. Great play by A.B., the good A.B. They took the kind of back shoulder fade shot to pass breakup incomplete. So fourth and five, a three and out. Great job by Anthony Brown. Andy Leon now for the punt. It's away. Off the side of his foot to the right side. That's a shank at the 29. Oh, they're going to mark it at the 31. Don't know about that one. But a shanked punt by Andy Lee. We'll get the numbers on that punt in a little bit. But first, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that big red button and sub for free videos right here on the Dallas Cowboys Report. We are still on sub only chat, which means if you want to come and have some fun with us throughout today's live show, then you got to be subscribed. It is that simple. If you haven't already, sub to get free Cowboys videos and watch parties for every single game. Uh, some short super chats here. Uh, Catch like Campbell. I don't trust Greg come playoffs time. I don't either. Uh, I don't see how you could. Matthew Cardona, AB will stay underrated by our own fans. He had a couple rough he had a bad first game, hasn't been that well-liked in the past, therefore it will continue to not be liked because nobody ever wants to adjust their priors. All right, I want you guys now to shout out your city for me in the comment section. I'm going to adjust my fan. Hold on. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's better. Now I got the actual breeze on me instead of up in the air. Uh, that punt, by the way, from Andy Lee, 31 yards. That's bad. All right, rapid fire. Philly, Carthage Run, Philly again, Dallas. Wow, a lot of Phillies today. Temple, Jackson, Hildale, Brasilia, Florida, Goodyear, Richlands, uh, Dallas, Lake Jackson, Monterey, Edinburgh, Scotland, or Edinburgh, Scotland. Odessa, I actually, I actually know someone from, from Edinburgh, as funny as it is. Yeah, uh, Italy's in there, Douglas, Huntington Beach, Sacramento, Tal Tallahassee, Spokane. Yeah, Spokane, not Spokane, I think. I might be wrong on that. Uh, the Bahamas is represented today. Yeah, NASA. Uh, Pocahontas, I think that's Iowa, Fort Worth, Highland, Boise, Utica, Dallas, A uh, Abilene, Lufkin, Corpus Christi, uh, Utica again, Powell, New York, Cato or Cato Mills, however you pronounce it. Guam is in there, nice. El Paso. Uh, retro is I'm an island boy. There we go. Dothan. Prunedale, Guam, Hawaii, Kingston. We've got a couple different Jamaican people today. That's fun. Went there for my honeymoon. Uh, Bahamas, Utah, Alabama, New Jersey, Florida. Now we're deciding out states. It's fine there in the end. Uh, Cincinnati for where I'm from. Thailand, Marlin, Fresno, Baton Rouge, and Tampa. Uh, I'll get. To, I'll shout out. Uh, beat you up. Super chat in a second. But first, first and ten from the 31 yard line for the Cowboys. Prescott under center. Now he changes the play call at the line here. See what they run. It's a handoff to Pollard up the middle. Dives for about six or seven on that one. So Dak checked in to the run play there. Beat you up. Are we going to take this bum kicker into the playoffs? Probably. Sorry. Second and four. Down by the river in a van down by the river. What an all-time SNL skip. All right, second and four. Hand off again to Pollard. He gets two and a half and falls forward. Actually get about three there. 
So third and short again. Maybe this time they'll get it. <laughs> Cowboys going tempo, third and one. Shotgun with Sprinkle in the slot here, plus Dalton Schultz in line. Cardinals with a five-man front. Dak has audibled, and that is it for the first quarter. So maybe Dallas want to draw him off sides. First quarter in the books. The Cowboys have actually moved the ball fairly well so far, but they are just one of four on third downs. Cardinals just one of three, by the way. And a missed field goal is what's keeping this game from being tied so far. This is a good question, Jeremy. I agree. Pick a quarterback. DP for Dak Prescott. KM for Kyler Murray. So far, Dak's been better, although I wouldn't say either guy's been bad or either guy's been, like, off the charts elite so far. My mindset. There could have been, could have looked worse for Dak if Buda Baker catches that play. Great job by him. Bad play call. There, the, yeah, there's no, like, bad quarterback like Jalen Hurts. Great point, producer Jeremy. Uh, congrats on, on, on winning your bet against, against, uh, against Mitch, though. I mean, there's, uh, it's what a uh, – Hurts didn't score today. You're right. He didn't score. Those of you that don't know, uh, producer Jeremy here took a bet that Jalen Hurts would have more touchdowns than Derek Carr. Derek Carr scores with a fourth, four touchdown lead now? Four with one game to go? You got it in the bag, bud. I'm glad I told you not to bail on it. Uh, the DPs, by the way, are winning at the current moment. Handy Dalton, get out of here. <laughs> hey, the Bears won. By the way, as, you vo as your votes come in here, uh, how about the Giants finishing an NFL game in 2022 with negative passing yards? How about that? Unbelievable. That, that, that is the biggest joke I've ever seen. Negative passing yards? In a football game? In the NFL? When you got blown out? They ran it 40 times in Wait, a loss. Tom, don't worry. They already said they're bringing back Joe Judge and Danny Dimes. Which I think, as I speak for you as an Eagles fan here too, great. Do it again. That ain't it. One more year. What a joke. Mike Glennon was 4 of 11 for 24 yards, two interceptions. He took 34 sacks. Negative 10 net passing yards. Sorry, four sacks for 34 yards. Sorry, four sacks for 34 yards. Negative 10 net passing yards. But hey, they had 40 carries. Auto win, right? What a joke of a franchise. All right, third and one. Elliott on the sidelines here. Dak in the shotgun. Five-man front. Hard count. Now Dak will bark out some signals. I think he's just going to stick with the play here. Trips left. Schultz to the right. Hand off to Pollard. Gets the first down. Type in first. Type in TP. Up the middle there. A gain of, we'll say, six. Pollard looking better than Elliott does so far on the ground today. Good run by Pollard. Good blocking off the right side. Jordan Hicks, Byron Murphy eventually brought him down, but after a nice pickup right there. Type in first, type in TP. You love to see it. Oh, and there's a penalty on the play. Holding. So now it's third and 11. Holding on Collins. So third and 11, they didn't throw the flag animation. Prescott, under duress, takes the sack. So three penalties have killed the Cowboys' three drives. F the refs indeed. You're not going to convert many third and 11s. It's not going to happen. You're just... Punts away by Brian Anger. Good punt. Christian Kirk in his own 10. Taken down. Great job. C.J. Goodwin.
I'd love to see the replay on the Lyle Collins holding because I didn't, I wasn't paying attention to it live. But three penalties have been brutal, resulted in three third and forevers, and you're not going to pick up very many third and eights. You're one of four in that today. It's the reality of the situation, folks. Today's show is powered by our sportsbook partner, BetUS. Hope you didn't take the over because so far, been quiet at this point. Head over to chatsports.com slash bet. Use the promo code you guys see on screen. That is Cowboys125. It'll get you 125% deposit bonus when you put down at least $100. Chatsports.com slash bet. Promo code Cowboys125. The over-under, by the way, was 52 and a half. Favorite, the Cowboys, by seven. So far, Cardinals are up by three. We will see how this game continues along here as good punt by Brian Anger, 57 yards, a minus five-yard return thanks to the punt and the tackle by Siege. You're going to a very tough uh, tackle in space. Receivers got more speed than you. You grab onto that ankle and you hold on for dear life. Fantastic job right there. Uh, other scores, by the way, around the NFL as you guys subscribe for more free Cowboys videos. Chargers up 10 nothing. All the Broncos, fourth and goal from the two. Texans and Niners, a barn burner, 0-0. Panthers, 10. Saints, 3. I need to double check my clinching scenarios. Saints lose. That's a really big deal for Philly. That's a really big deal for them. Oh, the Eagles already own the tiebreaker over New Orleans, so if they win out, regardless. But there, there, there could be a multi-team tiebreaker. I'm not sure how that scenario plays uh, into effect. Oh yeah, with um, who's the other team in the in the hunt right there? It's not the Falcons. Uh, the the Vikings are in the mix. Still, uh, oh. which could lose could lose tonight as well. We'll see. Seahawks up ten nothing in what could be. The final home game for Russell Wilson as a Seahawk. Good. Hey, we'll you see. know what? Good thing the Eagles have a cupcake game for the last game of the season. Good <sighs> thing for them. I'm going to slap you again. I'm going to super chat $50 of my own. First and 10. So the Cowboys have moved the ball well, but penalties. A killer so far. Three for 25, and they've all been brutal ones on third downs. First and 10. Murray in the shotgun, got a tight end back there with him. Kind of a almost an, a hybrid pistol formation. It's a give to Edmonds. Edmonds up the middle, gets two yards. Great job there by Van Der Esch. Shout out to Terrell Basham, too, for forcing Edmonds to cut it back inside. He kept his contain well there. Second down coming up and eight, we'll call it. MG's having fun. Click the ads, bud. Second down, Cardinals going a tight formation here. Edmonds and Ward. That is Jonathan Ward split set. Now they motion Edmonds out wide. Two tight ends over there. Now Edmonds back in motion, running behind Murray. Murray all day downfield, taking a shot. Incomplete. Ooh, Christian Kirk got behind Anthony Brown, but it was a bit too far. Type in stop on third and long. That hesitation move at the top of the route, I think, got some more space from Kirk. Also led to it being just a touch overthrown. Third and long, type in stop. Let's go. Third and eight, 13.05 in the first half. Trips right. Cowboys showing pressure and looks like zone here. They only got two men on the right side. Dig showing pressure. He drops off. Murray with time. Lawrence coming free. No flag for holding. Off balance. Caught by Edmund. It's a first down. Really not going to call holding there on Demarcus Lawrence. Lawrence got grabbed by that right shoulder, and they didn't call it. Type F the refs. First and 10 from the 28-yard line now for the Cardinals. 
Murray up the middle, or handoff up the middle. It's a gain of two. That's about it. I think that was Ward on the carry. No holding on Lawrence after two bad holding calls on Tyron Smith, Lyle Collins. Oh, yeah, it's a disaster. Second and eight. Motion. That's Dorch lined up in the backfield now, motioning wide right. Lawrence, or Murray hit as he throws. Ertz taken down in the play by Curse, a gain of three. Another third down, type in stop. By the way, had they actually had they properly called holding on that play, uh, that would have been a, sa a safety. Murray was in the end zone. Gregory. Okay, you're right. You're right. He was. Yeah, I mean. Third and five. Cowboys showing pressure here. They do not bring it. Murray, quick pass. Caught, taken down, Anthony Brown again. A big third down play. Are the Cardinals going to go for this? It's fourth and short. Oh, they're going to punt. I am glad the Cardinals didn't go for it. So fourth and two, punt team on. Andy Lee after shanking one, 31 yards last time. It's a fake, a throw. It's broken up. Are they going to throw a flag? Oh, it's picked or caught. There's a flag. Cowboys saying they picked it. Cardinals saying they caught it. Car Cowboys saying they've got it. Cardinals saying they caught it. The ball had bounced around. It's at the 40 right now. I think the flag is going to be DPI on Nashawn Wright. Cardinals came out of the scrum with it. There's a flag on the play, by the way. They ran the fake punt. Wow. Wow. Jonathan Ward caught that. Doesn't matter about the DPI, which it was on Deshaun Wright. Jonathan Ward went David Tyree on him. Holy shit, what a play. What a play. So the fake punt. As Deshaun Wright got tricked on that one. I think that was thrown by, was that Chris Banjo who threw it? Wow. A catch by Jonathan Ward, pinned it against the back of Nashawn Wright. That was a catch by Ward. My goodness. Pinned it against the helmet of Nashawn Wright and held on to it. I think they would have called DPI anyway. It was Chris Banjo on the fake. First and ten. Handoff to Edmonds. Gain of maybe one. Second down. Super chat from Matthew Cardona. Jesus, Nashawn, turn around. That's a pick. Yeah, it would have been. First or second and nine. Eh, second and nine and a half. From the, from the 40 and a half. Murray, empty set. Over the middle. Caught by Ertz. Another gain of maybe three. Third and long, type in stop. Man, third and third and medium, I'll call it. Zach Ertz, three catches, ten yards. Third and five. Type in stop.
9.08 to go in the half. Play clock down to four, three. Cowboys bring the house. Murray, a fade shot. That's going to be P.I. on Donovan Wilson. Ertz on Wilson. That one's P.I. He, he hit him. That one, that one's fair. Not, not this time. Penalties continue to kill Dallas. Keeper for Edmonds blown up in the backfield. They went wildcat, and Randy Gregory blows it up for a loss of five. Quick, I, quick, quick question. Is it a it's sack not. if you're in the wildcat and you technically take the snap and you get sacked I in don't the know. Back? That's a great question. Because, I mean, it should. you're the one that's – you're technically the quarterback for that play. Shouldn't that be a sack? I think, I think you're right. It should be a sack. I don't know if it's counted that way. But he was – that's right. That's a good point. Second and 15 now from the 28. Murray in the shotgun. Drops back with time. A shot. Wide open, A.J. Green inside the 10. Uh, bet U.S. red zone. Inside the Bet U.S. red zone. Good job there, Jeremy. Nobody near A.J. Green. It's a first down pickup. Murray in the shotgun. First and goal from the eight. Give to Edmonds. Stretch play. Edmonds gets out there. A gain of maybe two or three. Jordan Lewis on the tackle. From Michael Campbell. Feels like the Raiders game all over again. It does. Some calls have really gone away against Dallas. Early. Second and goal from the six now. Murray in the shotgun. Tight formation. A bit of a late snap. Murray with all damn day in the pocket. Tucking and running. Gregory giving changes a flag for holding. Murray picks up three. At least I assume it's for holding. Holding on Josh Jones. That one you had to call. Oh, actually, I don't know about that one. <laughs> Looked worse at first, then it kind of evened out. Second and goal, backs him way up. Beep, beep, beep. There you go. Seven minutes to go in the half here. From the 16, empty set, quads to the right. Screen to Dorch. Dorch gets to the 10, inside the 5. He dives, but he stepped out. So a big pickup. Now you get a guy to get the stop on third and goal. Yeah, he was out of bounds. I think that's the five. Okay, not a great spot. Type stop, second and goal, or third and goal. Murray in the shotgun. False start. They don't call it. Pew moves, sidearm, Edmonds, taken down by Parsons. Big stop there by Micah. I would go for it. Parsons crashing down, takes him down a yard and a half shy. 
fourth and goal. Jalen Smith ain't making that play. Cardinals are going to go for it. Fourth and goal. Get the stop. Murray under center. Mako quick to snap it. They motion. False start. Ball comes out. That's a false start. Come on. They say the Cardinals called timeout. Tight boo. I would love to see if the Cardinals actually call it a timeout there. As it stands right now, it's fourth and goal from the one. Be a quick timeout here, so type in boo. And Tom, for some reason, Fox is not showing the replay on whether or not they did, in fact, call the timeout. I don't know why Fox would do that, Tom. Oh, the Cowboys called a timeout. So the Cowboys called timeout. Fourth and goal, same play for Arizona. Murray, keeper, Malik Hooker giving chase. It's caught. Van Der Esch, what are you doing? Touchdown, Cardinals. It, a killer play. Hooker charged Murray. Van Der Esch charged Murray. Nobody went with Wesley. And Mur Hooker, who tipped it, still snuck through. So 9 nothing. Feel extra point is good. 10 nothing. 527 to go. It's a long drive. Time for the offense to get going. They've had only a handful of drives today, three drives in total. They'd moved it pretty well, but three brutal third down penalties. Today's show is powered by BetUS. I'm going to get to JJ the Mimes Super Chat. 125% deposit bonus, chatsports.com slash bet when you use promo code COWBOYS125. Again, 125% deposit bonus when you put down at least $100. That's chatsports.com slash bet. Promo code COWBOYS125. That link will be in the comments. What's the promo code? Or will be in the comments section as well. We appreciate BetUS sponsoring the Cowboys report. From Jay to the bottom, looking like a fake good team again. Never fails. Here's the thing, though. Every good team this year has had multiple games in which they look they look like a fake good team. The Cardinals were 7 and 0. They lost to the Bear or the, to the Lions. They got blown out by the Lions. All the good teams have had these bad games. Like every single one. The Bucks almost lost to the Jets today. Wait. It's so that's just how the NFL's been this year. So since the Lions beat the Cardinals does that mean the Lions are one of the best teams in the NFL? You get it. Transitive property. Thank you, producer Jeremy. All right. Beer cheers, by the way, from JJ. Thank you. Here is our Super Chat menu. $5.00. We do the beer cheers. Any super chat, I'll give you at least a verbal shout out to those $2 ones right there. 15, I'll finish the beer. 20, shot time. 50, we slap around producer Jeremy. We've gotten into that twice so far today, which I've enjoyed at this point. Hey, uh, 
Mook and Cowboys, love you too. It's okay, we, we don't like you, Jeremy. Sam, WTF is wrong with our offense. This particular game, penalties. You're not going to convert a bunch of third and sevens and third and eights. You're, you're one of four in those in third and seven or worse. That's about what you're normally going to be. So avoid the third and longs if you can set, set up in penalties. Without, without the penalties, this game is very different. Squib kick got to be fielded by Corey Clement, who does a good job to get to about the 23, 24 yard line. Super chat from Landry Lopper Loper. This is going to be another Broncos game. Feels like a Raiders game to me. The, the refs have been not great. You had a couple of DPI pickups. Thanks, Landry. Cheers, my friend. I, I, I got two right here. Matthew, every time we have Troy and, Bucks, we, and Buck, we suck. <laughs> didn't, they, didn't they call the Patriots game, though? Wasn't that a Fox game, or was, or was that a CBS game? Tom, it's also true because it rhymes. It's true. Huh? If, it, if, it, if it rhymes, it's true. Elliott back in the game, first and 10 from the 23-yard line. The handoff to Elliott gets to the edge and dives for a gain of maybe five or six. Yeah, that was a good that was a good the best burst we saw was against the Vikings when he cut it up field and got a huge pickup. Second and five. Stone Cold 10x, two catches on that drive. Yeah, but hey, it was second and and uh and twelve to, and, and and goal to go. Prescott wants to go play action, max protect, thrown, caught by Cooper. Hitch or a comeback route, deep comeback route. It's a gain of, we'll say, seven or eight. Type Coop, type in first. Good job by Cooper to go down and get that ball. Safe and almost too low. First and 10 from the 37 and a half yard line here. Prescott under center. Play action, free rusher, off balance, fine. Schultz, a gain of seven. Buda Baker rocks him. Dangerous. Yeah, somebody did not pick up. I didn't catch the edge rusher. Is that Byron Murphy? Byron Murphy, a late blitz. Great job by Prescott, who almost got drilled on that play. Tokyo Talks says start Kelvin Joseph. Why? Anthony Brown's got two awesome pass breakups. He's played really well today. It hasn't been your issue. Yeah, like, what, what are we talking about here, guys? <laughs> Second and three. McGovern, he was not set in the motion. Hand off to Elliott, dancing around. Gets the first down, though. Type in first. Just shy of midfield. First and 10, Dallas. 3.23 to go in the first quarter. Thanks to everyone tuning in. Almost 3K. You guys are awesome. Wilson in motion. Dak under center. Shout out Ellis Hinton for his $5. Thank you, my friend. Prescott barking out signals. Play clock down to three, two, one. The snap comes. Hand off to Elliott up the middle. Gets loose. Seek 40. First down to the 35 yard line. Dak again checked into a run for a big play. Type in Zeke, there's a flag, I swear to God. Every big play, there's a holding. Come on, every big play negated by a holding. They're going to call that one. Third offensive holding call that's been a killer. Now it's first and 17 at the 41-yard line. Dak drops back. Late rush over the middle. Caught by Wilson, who gets hit hard, a gain of a couple. Seven. 
Second and 10, 2.15 to go in the, in the half. Prescott going tempo, empty set look. Cooper, Schultz, Wilson, Lamb, and Pollard, I think it's the snap. Free rusher, Dak, to Wilson again, a first down pickup at the two-minute warning. Type in first. Folks, if you haven't already, hit that big red button and subscribe for free daily Dallas Cowboys videos all season long. The Cowboys trail 10-0 right now. Dallas finally marching despite another holding penalty that has been a brutal one so far for Dallas. Killing drives. We do live shows during the games, of course. And we do live on Tuesday. Jane Slater comes on on Tuesdays, and we're working on getting her on for a mailbag so that you guys can ask your Cowboys questions to Jane. Hit that big red button and subscribe so you can get free videos every single day right here on the Dallas Cowboys Report. We're free. Always will be, so subscribe right now. We can go to the playoff. I think you're right. It's updated. It should be updated. This is where things stand currently in the NFC playoff picture. Eight, or excuse me, nine teams, seven spots. Five of them have been locked. The Eagles in fantastic shape to make the postseason. The Niners, if they can beat Houston, in great shape. They are currently down seven to three. You could have a 3-6 Cowboys-Eagles matchup. Mills Mafia, let's go. Uh, Davis Mills, 11-15 for 79 yards and a score. Uh, the Niners have not run the ball very effectively. Uh, of course, the Rams and Bucks both won today. Oh, I need a drink for Ellis' Super Chat, excuse me. And I see a Chafito Garcia, a $2 Super Chat. Thank you, my friend. Mailman Mike says, penalties have been a backbreaker. I think we are second. You're not second in the division right now, uh, or in the playoff picture. Because the Rams and Bucks have won their games, you have not yet played, you drop back down to four. Now, in the event you win, you do go back to the number four seed in the NFC. That remains to be seen if that ends up happening, though. Sub, if you haven't already, four drives so far for the Cowboys, four penalties. Two-minute warning. Spam Reeves in the comments. Celebrate the life of Dan Reeves. Dallas football. They converted a first and 17 with two throws to Cedric Wilson. From the 41-and-a-half yard line, Wilson in motion. Cardinals showing a late blitz. Looking like, and then they drop it back. They only bring four. Prescott over the middle. Batted in the air. It's picked off. Buda Baker, a flag comes out late. Cooper brings him down. What's the flag going to be for? Pass interference on the defense. Well, definitely, definitely DPI. Yeah. NFL officiating helps out Dallas there. So first and 10, now from the 36-yard line. Full house blitz, batted at the line by Buda Baker. Buda Baker has been everywhere for Arizona. Baker came as a free rusher, did a great job to get his hands up on that one. Cooper was open. By the way, I think a great point I just saw. I don't think the flag comes out for that play if it wasn't picked. I think if, if that falls to the ground harmlessly, no call for DPI. I hit that earlier. Second and 10, Elliott comes in line to help, or not in line, in the backfield to help block. 
Cardinals showing pressure. Buda drops out late, coming off the left side. It's picked up. Prescott in the dirt to Lamb. And another flag comes out. DPI. Hicks on Lamb. That's a soft call. That's a bad call. For the record, way too many flags in this game. Stop throwing flags on Tiki Tacky ship. Let them play. First and 10 from the 26 now. Prescott gets the snap over the middle. Nearly picked. Schultz dropped it again. High throw. Off the hands of Schultz. So second and ten. It has been a flag party and I hate it. Prescott drops back. Bad at the line again. A fantastic play by Byron Murphy. I feel like more than most teams that I've seen play, there have been more corner blitzes today. I don't know if it's something they've, they've seen with the Cowboys. Lot, yeah, you're right. Every other play has been a corner bl blitz. Either Lots of Buda, delayed corner blitzes. Buda Baker totally and Byron right. Murphy. Third and ten, Cardinals showing all of the pressure. They're really trying to make it tough pre-snap to ID what where the pressure's coming from. Free play, offsides, Dak takes a shot to the end zone, incomplete. That probably could have been DPI. The corner never made a play on it. Offsides, third and five now. Of all the DPI calls, that was the most obvious. Yeah. Third and five from the 21. Tight trips right. Yeah, that's okay. Every, everyone has a flag. Prescott takes a shot to the end zone to Gallup. He made the catch. Touchdown, Cowboys. What a throw. What a better catch by Gallup. Who's down? Oh, no. I think that's a bad Michael Gallup injury. They went end zone shot, touchdown Dallas. Gallup came down hard on that knee. It didn't look that bad. Great, great throw by Dak. Dak had been off for a decent part of that drive. Came back at the right time. Grabbing his left knee. So type in TD. Type in MG as well. Yeah, yeah I mean, they're going to have to get Gallup off the field before they, before they do the extra point here. We don't like Michael Gallup being hurt. It looked pretty bruised. Super chat coming in here. That knee just kind of buckled a little bit, it looked like. But it, it, it didn't, like, plant that bad, you know? Yeah, he definitely meant to say ACL. We'll, we'll get to the super chat here in a second from Matthew. Still, I'm still trying to get the, the highlight up on my Twitter momentarily. Didn't look great for Gallup. 
from Matthew Cardona. I saw him buckle the knee off the hop. It's likely an ACL. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to speculate on the injury beyond it was a uh, – I could say this, though. They were doing the, the test to check on the ACL. I, I, just, I just saw that from a guy I trust on Twitter, from uh, Michael Gell, I don't to say it. Uh, they were doing the, – it's called the, the Latchman test. Walking to the sideline right now with help. So you're right, it is a left ACL. At least that's the fear for Michael Gallup. After the touchdown now, how do you feel about the Cowboys winning? Scale it 1 to 10. Yeah, I don't think he <laughs> – it's true. So Gallup comes down with the score. You're good. I'm getting the, t the tweet. Gallup needed help getting to the sideline. He looks upset. It still, it doesn't look that bad. But he immediately went down and grabbed it. They were checking the back of that, that knee calf area. Hope it's not serious. Zerline for the extra point. Left hash. Got that one. 10 to 7. I, I, I wait the last damn second at this time, at this point. Super chat from Richard Rodriguez would be tied if not for the damn kicker. Yes, you would be. You would be tied right now. I hope I hope it's a bruise for Gallup, but I'm not. I'm not too confident in that. Would be just the worst possible timing for Gallup entering a contract year where he was going to get the, the bag. Ugh. Super chat from Matthew Cardona. You can see him screaming after, after the hop, screaming as he caught it. What a warrior. Hope it's not serious. I, I completely agree there. Cheers to the health of Gallup. He's getting help to the locker room. That's bad. 11 play, 77-yard drive for Dallas. A 21-yard Michael Gallup touchdown catch to cap it off. Zerline on now for the kickoff. Kicks away. You can miss a kickoff. Kick it out of bounds. That's a miss, Jeremy. Good try. Cardinals take over. All three timeouts. Minute 25. Got to get a stop on defense here. Cowboys with their pressure package right now. That's Osa, Randy, Lawrence, and Parsons as your front four. Murray in the shotgun. He drops back to pass. Screenplay to Edmonds. Lawrence giving chase. Can't get there. Vander Esch does. A gain of two and a half. From Duncan39, by the way, super chat. I'm sipping on a Long Island S iced tea and myself. Have a drink on me. How's the fam doing, man? Love your stuff. Kids gaining weight like she should. That's always a good sign. Sleeping a little bit better as well. Appreciate it, Duncan. Go Cowboys. Second and seven. Murray in the shotgun. 26 and a half yard line. Murray over the middle. Caught. Third down. And Van Der Esch ripped it away after he was down. Clock ticking. Bottoms up. Third and two. Yeah, the score provider's drunk. Ignore them. Third and two. They typed it in wrong. Hand off. Edmonds first down to the 39. Curse makes the tackle. Inside of 50 seconds. Timeout Cardinals. By the way, Michael Gallup has already been ruled out of the game. Not a good sign. Yeah. 
Not a good sign. Ed Vila, have we seen Mal Gallup's last play as a Cowboy? He's a free agent. I don't know. Maybe get him back super cheap. Pay him a little bit of money, give him like a multiple-year deal. I don't know. It's tough. F future issue. First and 10 from 39-yard line. Murray in the shotgun. Snap comes. Cowboys bring five. Quick pass caught by Ertz. He gets eight on that one. Nobody near him. Hooker and Curse make the tackle. Clock is ticking, though. 40 seconds to go in the half. 33 seconds. Murray gets the snap. Another quick pass caught by Kirk. Cowboys in safe off coverage there. Easy pitch and catch. First and 10, 28 seconds. Twenty-eight seconds. It's first and ten Cardinals. They are at the forty-eight of Dallas. So they're right around field goal range given Matt Prater's leg. Murray drops back. Quick pass again. Caught by Kirk. He gets inside of field goal range inside the forty. Timeout Cardinals. Twenty-three seconds left. Gallup is out for the game, for those of you wondering. Jeremy's talking about the WWE matchup. Who cares? Second and five. Prater has been good from 60-plus multiple times in his career. He has the leg to drill it from wherever. Second and five from the 44. They got Christian Kirk in the slot right now. Van Der Esch lined up on Ertz. Cowboys showing a five-man pressure. They bring five. Picked up. Murray. Shot downfield. Green almost pulled it in. Diggs wanted offensive P.I. No flag. Either way, third and five. If, that, if he had OBJ hands, oh, that would have been a catch. Diggs, Green did push off, by the way. He did give the full arm extension. If, if he had OBJ hands, that's a touch. Yeah. Green gave the full extension right there. Uh, there was some hand grabbing both ways green tried to one hand it yeah green tried to one hand it because that left hand was pushing off third and five 17 seconds left in the half murray in the shotgun edmonds to the right trips formation left oh it's a free play and lawrence dak or lawrence has to chuck it in the dirt murray's pissed he wanted a free play he should have had one Yeah. I trust Murray to make that guy miss, though. Lawrence tried to time it up. Center went like this, and Tank tried to time it, but did not. McCarthy wants a flag on the center because he did throw his head down. Tom, bet McCarthy's you pissed. Tom, $5 bet. Does Mike McCarthy know how much time is left on the clock? Yes, he does. That's two head bobs. Normally they call that. Whatever, don't jump off sides. Third and inches. 15 seconds left in the half. Cowboys going two deep safety. I like that. Hand off to Edmonds. He gets the first down to the 35. Timeout Cardinals. 10 seconds left. Final timeout of the half. Chargers up over the Broncos. Panthers up 10 to 9 over the New Orleans Saints. And do you guys want to know why it's a 10 to 9 lead for Carolina over the Saints if this damn scoreboard would ever load so I make sure I'm not spreading falsehood? Brett Maher, three field goals, nine points to the Saints. He's still not very good, though. Two timeouts left for Dallas. 10 seconds here. 
in the half from the 35-yard line. Murray drops back. Parsons coming. Parsons can't bring him down. Murray has to throw it downfield out of bounds. Oh, Micah. Gregory limping a little bit, by the way. Yeah. Second and 10, it's field goal time. Prater from 53 and the right hash. Timeout Dallas. Prater did not get a practice kick, so I'm okay with it. Three seconds left in the half. We will take a halftime break. Don't go anywhere. We'll come back. The second half of a great game. Yeah, Gregory left on that fourth down play. Second and 10. It's a 53-yard try, three seconds left, barring a penalty, the final play. Why is Van Der Esch back 40 yards deep? What's the purpose of that? Kick on line and good. That would have been good from 60 as Prater drills it to give the Cardinals a 13-7 lead at the half. Should be 13-10, but your own kickers miss stuff. Dallas is up, or is down, 13-7 here. Cardinals score, type in F. Murray and Dak, very similar numbers. 15 of 22, 14 of 21, 133, 138, one touchdown, one interception. More yards on fewer attempts for the Cowboys and Dak Prescott. Cardinals ground game doing much better, though. The ground game for Dallas has been... Outside of a couple nice runs, pretty pretty middling. That also one big one that was negated by a holding call is Arizona leads at the half, 13-7. The penalties began to even themselves out there. We will take a break. Second half action coming up here in NFL Week 17.
Welcome back into the second half. The Cardinals get the ball to open up the second half. They lead 13-7 over the Dallas Cowboys. The Cowboys have actually thrown the ball, excluding the Chris Banjo fake, a little bit better. Dak Prescott's numbers slightly better than Kyler Murrell. I think both players have done a pretty good job so far today. The Cardinals ground game. Looks a little bit better. Again, the Greg Dortch reverse looks more impactful there. Big difference, by the way. Bunch of brutal third down penalties that killed drives for Dallas. Kyler Murray, by the way, 15 of 22, 133, one touchdown, zero interceptions. Not bad. Dak Prescott, 14 of 21, 138, one touchdown, zero interceptions. Very similar. Touchback here. Jesus Christ, Jeremy, shut up. Cardinals football to own 25-yard line. See what the Cardinals offense does here, what the Cowboys defense does as well. Murray in the shotgun again. Two receivers left, tight end right now. Dorch in motion. Got a couple trick plays here. Gregory in the dirt to nobody. Flag comes out. Is this grounding or P.I. on Tristan Hill? Ineligible man downfield. 10-yard penalty. We'll do first down again. That, that was a screen that took way too long to develop, so the lineman gets downfield there in the end. Sorry, five-yard penalty, first and 15. They said 10. I don't know why they said 10. I thought it was a five-yard play. Murray in the shotgun. Cardinals undefeated. Went up at halftime this season. Hand off to Edmonds. He gets a yard, maybe a yard and a half. Donovan Wilson and Tristan Hill make the tackle. Good news, Randy Gregory back out there. Got to get that update in there real quick on my timeline. Second and 14, this is where you got to get off the field. Empty set for Arizona. Murray, of course, in the shotgun. Four-man front for Dallas. Jordan Lewis, looking like he's showing blitz off the edge. He does not. Drops back in his zone. Murray, over the middle. Caught. Kirk gets uh, back to the original line of scrimmage, plus one yard, third and nine. Type in stop. Third and nine. Almost to 1,000 likes. Every 1,000 likes I do something. Fireball's next? I don't know what's next. I lost track. Empty set. It's quads to the left for Dallas. They bring five. Murray checks it down to Edmonds. Edmonds makes Wilson miss the first down. Donovan Wilson got to make that play, man. I mean, the, the update for Gallup is that he's been ruled out for the game, so that's all we know. First and 10. Can't get off the field on third and nine. It's been a problem this year for the Cowboys' defense. When they've had issues, that's why. Murray, give to Edmonds, who cuts it back. He loses three. Great job by Tristan Hill on that play. Gets credit. Micah Parsons get credit for the TFL, but that's a hell of a play by Tristan Hill. He blew that up. Second and 13. Cardinals doing a lot of pre-snap motion. 
They had Kirk in the backfield. Now it's pistol set with Edmonds. Play action. A lot of dime for Murray. Takes a shot downfield. Kirk inside the 20. Kirk on Lewis. Lewis wanted a push off. I don't think so. Can't have it. Can't have that. You get him into second and long twice on this drive. And you let him get a huge pickup. Great throw by Kyler. First and 10 from the 23 now. Cardinals up by six. They make it a two-score game. Murray with some time. Throws to Edmonds. Rocked by Parsons. Edmonds caught it. Probably shouldn't have. And he lost about five. Second and 16, another TFL for Micah Parsons in this one. Type in MP for that one. Second and 16 from the 30 now. Empty set again as Kyler will space out that little trips formation on the left side. Murray gets the snap. Quick pass to Kirk. He's got blockers. He gets to the 25, taking down the 24, maybe 23-yard line. Third and long again. Type in stop. Got to get off the field here. Third and 11. You got to hold him here. Eh, third and 12, actually, they're going to call it. Shotgun set for Murray. Gregory was off sides. It's a free play. Murray scrambling. Spins, but it's now going to be third and seven. The self-inflicted wounds. Gregory jumped off sides. The Cardinals now inside the BetUS red zone. He got a little bit antsy. Third and seven. <laughs> Maybe it is. Get your stops flowing. You need it here. Touchdown would be bad. Play clock down to five, 9.45 to go in the third quarter. Murray, shot to the end zone. Ertz, or Wesley, did he get his feet? And he did. Touchdown. Didn't see who he beat. Looks like Anthony Brown. Touchdown, Cardinals. After a couple great third down plays, Anthony Brown gets moss. It's a great play by Wesley on that one. Two feet in. 19 to 7. Your defense had the Cardinals in second and 12 or more three times on that drive. All three times couldn't get off the field. Unacceptable. They're going to go for two, as they should. A lot of pre-snap motion here. Murray, looking right. Pressure coming. It's Parsons. He throws it. Incomplete. So a 12-point game. He had 9-7 on that little scoreboard thing of like how the end points there. Give me one second here. Got a 
quote tweet that one. I'll just tweet it out normally. All right, today's show is powered by BetUS. Head over to chatsports.com slash bet and use promo code COWBOYS125. That'll get you a 125% deposit bonus. That link is in the chat, by the way. Thank you, producer Jeremy. You put down 100 bucks. that'll get you the 125% deposit bonus. Got to put down 100 though. We'll make your lives easier. That link is in the comment section. Chatsports.com slash bet. Promo code COWBOYS125. If you want to shout out, by the way, go retweet my pinned tweet. I'll throw it in the live chat as well, by the way. Got it in there right now. It's the link to today's live watch party. Give some shout-outs here. Once I'll give you a chance to let these flow in here. I know it takes some time. The meltdown is on, of course, here. So Cowboys trail, 19 to 7. Give some shout outs here. All right, I see retweets from Sean, something named a Jeremy, Chris, and Michael. Thank you, guys. Kick off here by Corey Clement. Gets to the Super Chat in a minute. Gets to the 23-yard line. From Teddy Fresh. They lost to the hapless Detroit Lions, not getting any pressure on Murray. He's playing pitch and catch. Yeah, it's been a disappointment. And Matthew, my confidence is painfully but slowly dropping. Offense needs to wake up. Defense got to get a damn stop. I think you nailed it. Cheers. And that one's finished. Play action for Prescott. Hit as he throws, recovers it, laterals it to Schultz, who fumbles it again, and the Cowboys recover for a two-yard gain. Jesus. Two fumbles, one play. Gain of two. <laughs> not saying that. It's not a good, it's not, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't work. There's nothing sexual about it. A whistle blows. Well, they've ruled that incomplete now. It was not a th that's not a throw, by the way. That's not a throw. Super Chat Mini, by the way, $5 beer cheers. It's not a throw. Second and 10, they ruled it one. Dak just missed on that one. Dream Crusher put Parsons on the line, playing with a safety at linebacker, and we get Boss Man Fadden. They've been doing that all game. <laughs> now, Parsons hasn't always been at edge, but they've been doing that a lot. Third and ten. Prescott with Max Protect, steps up, 
scrambling. He's going to run. Gets the first down. Big scramble by Prescott. If this is holding, I swear to God. Come on. He fell over. <laughs> he fell over. Third and 20. Prescott rolling r right, throws it and almost caught. You get a great third down pickup. But NFL officiating said, no, we're not going to allow it. Unbelievable. Every drive the Cowboys have had, there has been a third down holding call or a third down infraction. Every drive. A fucking joke. Yeah, what is your confidence level? Five drives for the Cowboys, five offensive holding penalties on third downs, by the way. Let me double check that third down part. I'm, I'm, I might be wrong on that. Hold on. Let me check. Been absolutely brutal. You're, you're just never going to convert third and 12, plain, plain and simple. What's your confidence level, folks? One to ten. New poll is up. What is the poll here? Can the Cowboys going to come back? Why for yes and for no? Brandon Taylor, why do the refs hate us? Don't know. It's really tough to win football games and score points when you've had five offensive drives and on four of them you've had a brutal third down penalty. Kyler Murray playing well, by the way. 21 of 28. Just not going to score with, with these penalties. There's just no way. You get a huge pickup. Dak scrambles on third and 10. Redeems after missing Amari Cooper. If you haven't already, folks, hit that big red button and subscribe for free Cowboys videos all year long. We will have a post-game reaction show as it continues to be a disaster. I don't, I don't blame them. It doesn't feel like they're going to be able to come back to this. I mean, you have to get a turnover here. You're already down two scores. What else are you going to do? You got it, but you, you, you're kind of tilting right now. You're tilting. Do you think they can get a stop here? Cowboys defense chugs? Because they need it bad. They had three chances last drive, second and longs, and they went 0 for 3. Got to get off the field. To, to be honest, the Cowboys have stopped the Cardinals multiple times, and they've gotten them in bad situations, but it's just – Kyler Murray kind of bails him out. And mm -hmm. if Donovan Wilson makes that tackle on Chase Edmonds, it, it'd still be 13-7. to seven. Yeah. And if your kicker makes a kick, 13-10. Remy Gordon, Tom, I love your show. Respect you. Don't tell me your offense isn't broken, starting from Dak to O-line to Kellen. Offense is broken today because you're getting flagged every third down. Like, they've actually moved the ball pretty well today, but they've had... Eight, 68 yards in penalties. They've lost so many. As Kelvin Joseph in the game and gets worked by Christian Kirk. I don't think that was the play, Tom. Kel Kelvin Joseph was 12 yards off the line of scrimmage. 
I think Kyler saw that and was just like, hey, I'm just going to throw it quick to uh, Kirk. I don't see Jordan Lewis out there. Murray, a keeper, getting to the edge and out of bounds for a gain of one and a half, maybe two. I don't see Jordan Lewis in the ballgame right now. TC, just another bad Sunday. Feels like it. Oh, Edward Roy, Dallas only beat sub 500 teams, one in the playoffs. Here's the thing, though, guys. Dallas is above 500 against above 500 teams entering this game. So it's just not true right now. Cheers, though. Dorch in motion now behind Murray, second and eight. Murray, a screen to Ertz. Ertz with space gets the first down. Oh, shot time. Third and one. They he didn't get the first down. Bad spot. Murray, boot keeper right. All the space in the world to the 25-yard line. Defense can't get off the field. And I'll shout out to Matthew Cardona, Super Chat. I feel like every single... Word has been, big play has been called back. Ridiculous. No, you're right. A lot of big, th multiple big plays called back. Yeah, 18 yards called back for holding. First, the <laughs> Eagles do win next week with this officiating crew. First and 10, Cardinals the 25-yard line. Jordan Lewis back in the ball game in a uh, delay game. Timeout. Timeout Cardinals. Super chat from Mercy Grace. Been a fan since the 80s. Isn't shocking. Been this way for the past 15 years with penalties, especially late season. Sadly, I'm not surprised. I, I understand your frustration, guys. I, I totally do. I'll drink in misery with you. Landry Loper says, unwatchable. Michael, every time we play good teams, you look like trash. Not true, but it has been as of late. Guys, just remember, y'all beat the Patriots. Good team. Chargers. Good team. Yeah, y'all lost to the Broncos. Not a good, good team. team. It happens. BetUS, chatsports.com slash bet, promo code Cowboys125. First and 10. That was a very, very quick media time out there. Murray, quarterback draw. Gets to the right side. Murray, 20. Breaks a tackle and slides down at first down. Defense can't get a stop right now. Nice slide by Murray. Murray inside the BetUS red zone. Hand off to Edmonds up the middle. He buries ahead for a gain of six. As Gregory still getting... Some work on the sidelines, something bothering him. Second and five inside the ten.
Handoff. By the way, great point I just saw on that Kyler Murray's keeper earlier in the game on, the, on that last play. The right guard moved like a full second early. <laughs> Remy Gordon, I don't know about flags, but the offense we have, we should be ahead point Blake. No, she's, which, which I understand. Your offense has to have more than seven points. There's no doubt about that. But it's you can start to see why you're not there it's really tough to convert all these third longs. That's just not how good teams operate. Good offenses move the ball consistently. Dallas can't because of the penalties. Murray, end zone shot. Picked on. No, Jaron Curse dropped it. Oh, Jaron Curse had it. Jaron Curse had it, and he dropped it. That would have been massive. Parsons got the pressure, and Curse just couldn't pull it in. Fourth and five, call timeout. Dallas is not set. They're going to have to call it. McCarthy not happy about something there. Dallas was not ready whatsoever. They were all kind of, Gifford was out there. Good, you got to call a timeout there. Sub if you haven't already. Now the Cardinals will kick the field goal here. This is to make it a two touchdown game to go up 20 or 22 7. So. I call it a 2.5 score game. You need, you need, you need a two-point conversion here. Prater from dead center and 26 yards out. Pretty easy. And he drilled it. 22 to 7. The Cardinals lead 401 to go. J. Ron Curse, man. That one's gonna haunt you. That's going to haunt you. Haunt you almost as much as the missed Greg Zerline field goal. I haven't forgotten about that either. Cowboys only down 22-7, but it feels a lot more, or like a lot more than that. Feels bigger than that. I think I owe some beer cheers, by the way, so I'll just start chugging. Need that high-powered, allegedly, high-powered offense to step up. The Cowboys today are 2 of 7 on third downs. The issue that they faced is that the third downs, all but two of them, five of those have been third and seven or longer, a third and five, and a third and one, which they also did not cover but got the fourth down pickup right there. There's your root cause as to why the Cowboys offense only has seven points. You can throw in 10 if you want to include the the missed field goal there. But last drive, the box score says three plays minus 10 yards. It was a first down pickup. Dak scrambled, got it, called for holding. Because the Cowboys on their five drives, only five drives today, not very many. Cardinals have controlled the clock pretty heavily. Been rough. Dak, by the way, not quite on. I'd say a little bit off today. 14 of 24, 138, one touchdown. I think the the one really bad throw he had was that miss to Amari Cooper. That was the the big one. That was the big one. That should have been an easier eight-yard pickup here. My burner account. Where is my this year feels different crowd? Feels like the same tired story the last 30 years. And then uh, Nick Marnie Burnett. Let's be realistic about the Cowboys playoff hopes. They are one and done. Yeah, might be playing the Cardinals again now. Didn't want the four seed. You play if if you get the four seed, I don't feel great about your chances. So down by 15, the Cowboys are 401 to go in the third game. What will happen? Touchdown, field goal, turnover, or punt?
Here's a great stat for you. Cardinals on third and fourth downs. Nine of 14. The Cowboys in the same. Three of eight. Kicks away by Prater. Cowboy Cardinals on third and fourth downs, 9 of 15. Cowboys, 3 of 8. It's a huge difference. I'll get some shout-outs here. Touchdown from Code Red. Touchdown from Steve. Turnover from Bridget Bolden. Touchdown from Sklavian, Tudor. And loss from Caddy the Rat. Dak under center. First and 10. Give Elliott absolutely nothing. First and ten run for nothing. I mean, every part of this Cowboys team looks bad right now, to be blunt. What phase of the Cowboys offense played well today? My hair never looks fine. Got to always adjust it. Empty set, second and nine. Quick pass to Elliott. Fucking drops it. Right in his chest. Third and nine again. Would have been third and maybe three or even a first down, but your running back, Zeke, can't catch. Third and nine. Cardinals showing pressure. They bring it. Prescott looking. Over the middle, incomplete, bad throw. The crowd should be booing. Got tipped on third down. Punt for anger. This one's over. Type F. They ain't, they ain't got a chance. Christian Kirk's not called for a fair catch, but he did. Uh, this has just been a, a, a disaster. Absolute disaster. We can try again next week, folks. 22 to 7. Yeah, we can do a bet US read. That's fine. Cowboys were a seven point favorite. They ain't going to cover. No chance. The under, I think the under might hit too. They're kind of in that closest range, but if you bet the under, you should be feeling good. Over, not so much. Last drive was a disaster. You run it for maybe a yard. Your running back then drops a pass, tipped on third down. What are you going to do? That's, that's bad team stuff right there. Bad team stuff. You're paying Zeke Elliott millions of dollars. And he just drops a ball squarely in his chest. Like, I, it just, what are you doing? What are you doing? Promo code Cowboys125 at chatsports.com slash bet gets you a 125% deposit bonus. That's chatsports.com slash bet. Promo code Cowboys125. Nick Marine Burnett, rebuild the O-line, trade Zeke, he's trash, and also trade Prescott, he's trash. Trading Dak is stupid, you can't afford to do it. Uh, also, if they're trash, then who wants them? It's the issue you kind of run into. Uh, this has been a very rough game, by the way, for Zeke Elliott. Eight carries, 17 yards, a long of six. The ground game, non-existent. Elliott, one catch, 14 yards, and a drop. It probably should have been a first down pickup. Oh, I'll, I'll, we'll do a beer cheers, though.
Cardinals have the football. So what's going to happen on this drive for the Cardinals? Touchdown, field goal, turnover, or punt? William says, take a friggin' deep shot. This is the problem the Cowboys have run into. Teams have dared them to take the underneath stuff or run the football. They can't run the football all that well. The deep shots haven't been that open. When they have, it's worked to gallop. I would say do more of it. Yeah, Cowboys haven't moved the ball at all. They had a first down. They gave it for a penalty. Murray in the shotgun, first and 10. Iowa beer cheers here. Parsons giving chase, incomplete. Got to go three and out here. It's your only chance. Second and 10, Edmonds rubbing his chest, not sure what happened. Maybe he took a blow from Parsons. Second and 10, handoff to Ward, nothing there, third and long. Got to get the stop, type it in. Oh, sorry, I moved my beer off screen. Third and nine. I mean, you got to get off the field here. You're cooked if you don't. Four edge rushers on the field. Gr Murray drops back, rolling right. Gregory can't make the sack. Basham brings him down. Finally get the stop. Type sack. A big loss. Yeah, eh, that helps. Armstrong gets the sack there. Gregory set it up. A bull rush. Cowboys trying to block it. There's a flag on the play and blown dead. It's a false start. They're going to try to block this punt. They are backed up. The Cardinals all are deep. Fourth, and I think it's 28 now from their own five. So Andy Lee, heel on the back of the end zone, not outside of it, you know what I mean. Pressure coming, doesn't get there. Lamb from his own, or from the Cardinals, 40, gets left side. Lamb with some space up the middle. Lamb breaks tackle, spins to the 20-32 yard line. And down there. Anything less than a touchdown here, you can call this game over. Joseph should have been flagged, by the way. Will the Cowboys score a touchdown? Y for yes, N for no. Tony Pollard checks in the game. Cedric Wilson in the game. Of course, there is no Michael Gallup. He is hurt. Play action. Prescott checks it down to Pollard. That's a first down pickup inside the 20. Inside the BetUS red zone now. That was four, type in first, four straight scoring drives. Demarcus Lawrence trying to hype up his offense here.
bad snap. Dak recovers it. It's a loss of three. Probably on Dak more than anything there. Didn't bring it in. So disaster avo averted here. Prescott now from the 22. Second and 13. It was a loss of three there on the play. Prescott gets the snap. Drops back to pass. Looking over the middle. Catch the fucking football. Now it's third and forever. Hey, Tom, don't worry. Tony Pollard said my bad, so at least he knows. I mean, there's nothing open downfield. You take the check down. It's going to be a gain of five or six or seven, and you drop the football. I, you you got to catch it. There's nothing else to do but catch the fucking football. Cardinals showing pressure on third and 13. Dak drops back, looking, scrambling. Jones giving chase. He pumps. Prescott. Oh, he's down a yard short. You got to go for it here. Fourth and one. Prescott in the shotgun. Dak checks out of the play. There's room left if you run the toss play. And they're going to go to the fourth quarter here. They're not going to snap it, I don't think. They don't. All right. Fourth and one to begin the fourth quarter. Type in four. How about that? What'll happen to the drive? Touchdown, field goal, turnover, or punt. It's kind of touchdown or turnover here. This drive set up by the drop by Tony Pollard. The great return by CeeDee Lamb. Dak hit Pollard for 12. Had a fumble. Dak hits Pollard. It should have been a gain of five or six or even more. And just right off his hands. Good throw by Dak. Yeah. New poll question. Ooh, that's a good one, Jeremy. Will the Cowboys win a playoff game this year? Third and 13, Dak scrambled for 12. No, it doesn't make sense, guys. It's stupid. Stop doing it. Also, if you're mad about the way Dak's played this year, Boy, do we have to have a conversation about Russ playing this year. Hasn't been that good. Hasn't been that good. Oh, yeah, his team's bad, right? But that doesn't count for Dak, right? Like, the, when the supporting cast makes mistakes, it's, 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 it's only one way away. Have you seen the drops today? <laughs> have you seen the penalties on third downs? Yeah, that's what kills you. He did have a bad – well, the, the, the Cooper on second down was the bad one. I think the third down throw – to Cooper that you're thinking of, I think Cooper ran the wrong route. Like I, or at least there was a miscommunication. I think Coop, I think Dak thinks Cooper's going to space. Cooper's settling down. Eh, I don't know if you should. All right, fourth and one. You got to get it. Elliot, Lamb, Wilson, Schultz, and Cooper. This is the ball game here. You're down by 15 to start the fourth quarter. Stop it, Jeremy. Don't fuck with me. Prescott in the shotgun. Trips to the right. Cardinals loading the box. Elliott motions to the right side. 
It's a give. It's keeper for Prescott. He gets the first down. The read option. Dak delivers with his legs on this drive so far. It's a first down pickup. First and goal. Inside the BetUS red zone from the seven-yard line. Play action boot right. Prescott off balance. Incomplete to Schultz. Probably not a drop. Probably not the perfect throw by Dak. Also doesn't help when Chandler Jones is about to rock you. Ah. Uh. I don't want to count that as a drop. It's a one-handed catch. It's tough. I'm not going to count that one as a drop. Honestly, it, it's a little bit on Dak. Honestly, it's a great play by Jones, too. So he read that perfectly. There you go, Jeremy. Bad call by Kellen Moore. Prescott, play action. Looking for Cooper. Catches it. Out of bounds at the two. Now, that play, I like, I like good there. I like a lot there. Wow. I like play good. Why use many words when few do trick? Third and goal from the two. It's four down territory. Elliott left of Prescott. Tight formation right. Schultz and Wilson want a different play, I think. Dak, oh, he had Cooper. Oh, wide open, Cedric Wilson. Touchdown, Cowboys. Massive touchdown. Type in TD. You should go for two here. No, you should. You're down 15. You should go for two here. Dak to Wilson. They're going to go for two. Empty set look for Prescott. They get a delay of game. Are you kidding me? How do you have a delay of game there? Now you got to kick the field goal or the extra point. How do you have a delay of game there? You got to be ready. Like they were not close to getting that snap off. Like they were still getting their pre snap motion set up. Like that tells me the play call came in way too late. Tom, don't worry. We know Greg the leg is great in pressure I'm situations. Lose my shit. 13-49, 22-13 to make it an eight-point ball game. Zerline's extra point is barely good. <sighs> Man's going to make my hair turn gray. So 22-14, Dallas a big-time scoring drive. Now the defense has to step up. Type in TD. They were going to go for two. Don't get the playing. What's up, Jeremy? I'm getting word that the Cowboys will only win today's game if you subscribe. It's up to you guys then. Subscribe. We got almost 4,000 people watching live right now. And I know not all of you guys are. So I, I did the 1K shot, by the way, right, Jeremy, for likes? I didn't? Okay, we'll do it right now. I can't remember if I did or didn't. And we'll do it again. Every 500 likes, we do a shot here on the Cowboys Report. Right now, 1,119. Cheers. Super chat from Matthew. Boy, if that mother flipper missed that too close. 
I'd have been so mad if they had missed that. I'd have been absolutely livid. By the way, it should be a one-score game, but your kicker missed the field goal earlier. Uh, Matthew says, boy, if you missed that. Uh, Mailman Mike says, field kicking McCarthy make me super nervous. It's fair. And then Jordan King, the $5 one. Tell him it means fixing the run game next season. You just eat Zeke's cap hit and draft Hall or Spiller. These penalties are just what the fuck. Come on, coach. I do not want to draft another running back early. I think that's a bad idea. You found Tony Pollard in round four. I would rather draft another center or a left guard early hey. and take a running back later. That's just me. You know, uh, cheers though. Appreciate the super chat. One of our one of our great hosts actually put out a draft sleeper video on our main mm -hmm. chat sports channel. Mm -hmm. Tyler Batty. It's not how it's pronounced. It's Beatty, but hey, it well, should be Batty. If you watched the show, or if you watched that yeah. show, you hey. know that we changed the yeah we pronunciation. changed it formally to Tyler Batty. Uh, Calvin Turner, by the way, Hawaii, also on that also on that list from the Chat Sports main YouTube channel. Kind of in the more Tony Pollard mode. Um, Niners blowing out the Texans. The Chargers have already beaten the Broncos. That game over insanely fast. What? 34-13. That game took no time at all. Drew Locke actually played okay. Uh, maybe they did. They showed that against the Washington football team last week. Zerline, a low line drive kick <sighs> into the end zone. I swear to God, Zerline is going to give me, give me, turn my hair gray. He almost kicked it out of bounds. Jordan King, you guys, right? who could forget the baddie? There you go. I've never been with a baddie. There you go, Chugs. Because I added to the tally. Niners up 23 7, Saints up 18 10. Behind Taysom Hill. Sam Darnold. <laughs> His cheeks. Got to get the stop here. Just keep the stops flowing nonstop. Yeah, it works. First and 10. Cardinals heavy set. Tight end in motion. Keeper for Murray. Wilson. Giving chase. Caught on the sidelines. Green pulls it in. Toe drag swag. Great catch by A.J. Green. Great catch. Good play action boot by Murray. That's a great route by AJ. I think those feet came down. Oh, yeah, that's a catch. Handoff. Ward gets three. Super chat from Andrew Edwards. What's Greg got on bones? For starters, that's his guy. He likes him. Or almost uh, 500 likes. 500 likes into a shot. Um, he trusts him. That's that's his guy. As for Liam Hyrulahu, he is currently on the Carolina Panthers, folks. So you can't bring him back. Sorry. Second and eight. Trips right with Ertz in motion to that side now. Tight end in line left. Parson showing blitz. And he's kind of on a delayed blitz, giving chase now of, of Murray. Murray heaves it out of bounds. Third and eight. Got to get off the field. Must get off. The more stops, the more likely it is to have, have, have a stop. Parsons, Lawrence out there. Gallimore as well. This is the pass rush package. Yeah, they've, they, they've used him when he's not blitzing. He's kind of in, in spy for the most part. One linebacker out there. Looks like Jordan Lewis has been benched. He's not out there. It's Kelvin Joseph, Anthony Brown in the game at corner along with Trayvon Diggs. Play clock at one. The snap comes. Lawrence coming around the edge. Murray going to scramble, and he doesn't get it. Donovan Wilson. Big play. Donovan Wilson, redemption stop. Fourth and seven, Cardinals got to punt it. I just want to remind everybody on the stream, in the chat, Tom and 55% of the I, chat I thought, it was over. thought the game was over. 
Cowboys are getting the ball down by eight. Down by eight early in the fourth quarter. They got a chance Do still. you still think the game is over, Tom? <sighs> they really got to go score quickly here. It's, there's 12 minutes. I know, but I still don't trust that Murray to not score. Punts away by Andy Lee. Lamb at his own 12. Ah, he gets nothing there. Great tackle on special teams by Charles Washington. It's got to go about 90 yards to get a two-pointer now. What will happen? Touchdown, field goal, turnover, or punt? Super chat, by the way, from Matthew. Jeez, dude, Micah is illegally fast. Let's go. His closing speed is pretty damn impressive. Get away from the cop speed, as, as producer Jeremy says, an all-time call by, uh, by Gus Johnson. Pick a QB. DP for Dak Prescott, KM for Kyler Murray. Unquestionably. At least for this game, which is kind of my focal point for here. It's Kyler. Kyler's out, outplayed Dak Prescott today. Now, have the penalties been a problem? Yeah, of course. Have the drops been a problem? Yeah. Murray has still outplayed Dak Prescott so far today. Make no mistake about that. I'm focused on today. I, I, I think it's Kyler. Dak's, Dak had a couple, has had a couple missed throws that have been a problem. His supporting cast has once again not stepped up. Now, Dak can change that by marching his team down the field here and getting the two-point try and tying it up here. But, what you got? Uh, JMS97, Parsons in at running back. I mean, he played it in high school. I wouldn't mind that on the goal line. You probably don't want to jeopardize injury for him because he's so important to your defense, but... I don't hate it. I don't hate, I don't, I don't hate Trayvon Diggs out there at defense either. By the way, Jeremy, what do you think the win probability is right now for the Cardinals? The win probability for the Cardinals? Yeah. Because they're obviously the favorites right now with, you know, late, mid, early, mid-ish fourth. The line's going down. I would say right now it would be at like 62%. Ooh, you'd be way too low. 83.7%. Really? I think that's actually pretty accurate. I think that's what you're looking at because you got to go score, get two points, and then stop and get the ball back either way to win the game in regulation. So it was as high as 95%. In, in my eyes, you have to score and at least hold the Cardinals to a field goal. Fair. That's fair. But they've done a great job of using a lot of the clock today. So I think 83% is about right. Plus, you're backed up really far here. you got to go 90 yards. It's not easy. I forgot who super chatted earlier, but why don't you just throw a deep ball? There you go. First and 10 from the 10. Two tight ends set. Play action. Is it deep ball time? Over the middle. Caught. Lamb. He gets free. 35 and dragged down at the 37-yard line. A big pickup. Type CD. He beats Byron Murphy. Wow, he got open on that one. That's what you need out of your superstar receivers. And the placement allowed them to cut it back upfield. Lamb a bit on the sidelines right now, looking kind of frustrating. Sub if you haven't already, folks. We've got almost 4,000 people watching live right now. Prescott barking out signals to the line. Noah Brown has checked in the game. Dak wants Cooper on the right side. Cooper's not going to be lined up in time. Three, two, the snap. Hand off to Elliott. Nothing there. Well, I mean, why wouldn't you have Dalton Schultz blocking Chandler Jones on the edge? When he loses, he loses bad. But, I mean, you can't expect him to one-on-one -on -one block Chandler Jones. He's a don't top have tight, Don't have tight ends block edges. I agree. Prescott, pressure coming. Picked up by Elliott, now not picked up. Prescott scrambling and does a good job. Ball pops out. I don't think he was down. Was he down? No, he's out. Can't do it.
No one to blame but the QB there. You can't fumble. You can't, you can't do it. Dak did a great job to avoid the sack, but you cannot fumble there. Can't do it. Dak using his legs. Isaiah Simmons, a great punch. Cardinals football. That's a backbreaker, man. Absolute backbreaker. First and 10, Cardinals at the 44-yard line of Dallas. Handoff to Ward. Face mask. It's a face mask on the Cowboys. Yeah, I think that was Osa who got in there. Yeah, pretty easy call. Well, he got inside of it. So, yeah, that's definitely a face mask. Handoff, gain of two inside the 30. I mean, you, I mean, you, you, need, you need a takeaway here. You're down by eight. Second and eight. Play clock down to eight, seven, six, five, inside of nine, third to go in the ball game. Snap it two. Murray drops back to pass. Takes a shot to the end zone, incomplete. Or not the end zone, but the first down marker. Wilson digs in coverage. That was more or less a throwaway by Kyler Murray. Third down, type in stop. From the 27 yard line, third and eight. Murray gets the snap. Cowboys bring pressure. Caught Kelvin Joseph short of the third down marker. Or Antoine Wesley, Kelvin Joseph with a tackle. So field goal unit, I assume, coming out here. You know, Jeremy, this is still a ball game if your kicker does his job the first time. Prater on for the field goal try from left hash. Snap comes, one second, and Prater drills it. So back to a two-score game, 25-14. to 14. New poll, can the Cowboys mount a comeback? I'm not feeling it right now, Jeremy. You need, you need a miracle. Eight minutes to go. You got to go crazy, crazy t tempo. This is still a ball game, by the way. Had your kicker done his job, would have been a one-score game still. And might have impacted how you're handling the game as well. Self-inflicted wounds, sloppiness. Sloppy is the one word I would use to describe this game, Jeremy. I don't know about you. I, the one thing I would say, the, the one word, my one word reaction to this game, Yeah. fundamentals. It's a good one, too. I like it. You know, you can't be dropping balls on second and long, putting nope. your offense in bad situations. Can't do it. You can't be holding on, on third and longs and third and shorts. You can't be 
Um, Can't be fumbling from your franchise quarterback. Exactly. It's the fundamentals, like high and tight. That's a fundamental. Yeah. Uh, I know that Simmons made a great play. Don't fumble. That, that's on the quarterback. Like, we'd say the same thing if it was Zeke or Paul or the Cooper or whoever. Like, that's on your quarterback. The Avid Ray folks, hit that big red button and subscribe for free Dallas Cowboys videos every single day. Post-game show coming up as well. We'll break down the news and rumors for Dallas from an otherwise very disappointing game here. Been a rough showing for Dallas. By the way, Jeremy, I've scripted out the post-game show. Go ahead and just kind of start building that as you get time or, or showing it. Go ahead and update the script then forever you need to do that. That sounds good to me. Cool. Dallas down by 11. The Cardinals, running a three-game losing streak, have come out and played much better today. Isaiah Simmons broke up the play action option and then punched it loose. Dak not carrying the ball tight enough. Led to three points and made it a two-score game once again. Of course Dax was that with himself. Dak hasn't been the same player since he got paid. Don't start with me, Jeremy. Yeah. If the Cowboys played the Lions right now, do you think they would win? Yes, they would. I don't. The Lions smashed the car or the Cardinals. Lions also got boat raced by the Seahawks today. It's forty-five twenty-nine in that game. Rashad Penny's averaging eight yards a carry. <laughs> All right, Cowboys football. First and ten from the twenty-five. Eight minutes, thirty-two seconds to go. Wilson in motion. Prescott checks it down to Wilson. He loses a yard. Yeah, I mean, I, that's what the All-22 is for, to get that downfield route stuff. Cardinals are playing deep safety. Like They're like, sure, take, take, take the underneath stuff. Cardinals rush three, Prescott to Schultz. Schultz along the sideline gets about eight of it on second and ten. Third and two. Prescott looking for Lamb. Resets, tucks, pumps, scrambles. He's a yard short. Ball came out, but he was very clearly down. Fourth and one from the, what is it, 34? I, I think Dak had Lamb. Well, maybe not. <sighs> yeah. If he had stayed in the pocket, maybe, but you're probably trying to get something on that play. Cardinals showing pressure, trying to take away that immediate run. They might drop off into coverage here. Wilson in motion. Oh, he's open. Dak hits him. First down. Great play call there. Remy, I see your super chat. Just DM me or email email jersey at chatsports.com. They'll help you out. I'll put that in, I'll put that in the link, Remy. Email that, Remy. Jersey at chatsports.com. 
Ask for help. They will take care of you. They'll, they'll give you the full list of instructions right away. Thank you for the super chat. Cheers. First and ten. Pollard's in the game. Double pass. Wilson resets. Lobs it to Pollard. A big pickup. 40. 30 out of bounds. First down. Cowboys. The Cedric Wilson double pass. I have no idea what Sean Jones' super chat is. I think, I think that's Colombian. Either way, I think it's a shot. Sam is powered alive. Yes, he is. Just caught that pass. First and 10, Cowboys marching. Prescott looking. Out route caught. First down, Lamb inside the 15. 5.45 to go. Bottoms up for Sean Jones. We will win. Worst case, we know what to expect in the playoffs. Go Cowboys. Cheers. Inside the BetUS red zone from the 12. Empty set look. Prescott. Cardinals showing late blitz. They bring the house. Prescott over to Wilson. Caught down at the four. Gain of eight. Second and two. Cowboys got to go with more tempo here. Use the tempo. Play clock ticking, 20 seconds now, 4 minutes, 52 seconds to go in the ball game. Trips right. Cardinals bring pressure. Dak rolling right. There's nobody open. He's looking. Oh, he finds Amari Cooper. Touchdown. Great job by Dak on that TD pass. Type in TD. They booted right or left off a of play action. Dak was waiting and found Cooper cross his body for the score. Live pulls 50-50. <laughs> Cowboys will go for two, down by five. I think they had dialed up the quarterback draw, but it's not there. It's heavy up the middle. Play clock down to three. The snap, Prescott rolling right to Wilson. He gets it. It's a three-point ball game. Type in LFG. You know what I'm thinking right now, Jeremy? You know the scene in, in, in Avengers uh, Endgame when Hawkeye's looking at Black Widow and says, don't do that, don't give me hope? That's me right now. Cowboys somehow kind of sort of back in it. I just don't get how me and Eagles fan can be the sense of reason within y'all telling y'all, hey, the game's not over yet. Just give it a second. The game's not over yet. Oh, the game's over. 48% of the chat s says the Cowboys will not mount a comeback in today's game. And that's now up to 53% says yes, they will. Big switch in the last 30 seconds. Do you want to reset it? Make it. Well, yeah, re reset it. Reset it. After the touchdown, reset it. So Cowboys showing life in the fourth quarter. Defense is turned for a big play. Cowboys have two timeouts. They trail by three. Four minutes, 42 seconds to go in the ballgame. Should be tied, by the way, just so we're clear. Can the Cowboys mount a comeback? Now can they? Should admit it will the Cowboys mount a comeback. Get some tweets up here. Now the flip has come. Sub if you haven't already. From Matthew Cardona, defense always has these chances to step up. They fail a lot in the past. This is their time. Wake up. Let's get the dub. 
Harold Buzzick, Aikman and Bucker bad luck. That said, most of all, I would like it. The boys not need the bye week. They need to play their way to the Super Bowl. Just my opinion. They need to work. I'd rather have the bye. I doubt you get the bye anyway. All right, 4.42 to go. I'll, I'll, I'll finish this beer. It's like this much left. Right there. First and 10, 25-yard line. Murray, boot right, play action, all damn day downfield. Miss Christian Kirk. Second down. JMS says this game is eerily similar to the Raiders game. I would agree. No. Just just post game show. It does remind me of the Raiders game. It's a very good comparison. Second and ten. You need a big play from Lawrence or Micah here. They're lined up left side. Edmonds in motion. Van Der Esch, it's a quarterback draw. Murray gets the first down and a whole lot more. Slides at the 40. Perfect time quarterback draw. So first and ten, four minutes to go in the ball game. From the 45, Cardinals using clock. It's a give to Edmonds. He gets three. Second and seven. Clock still ticking. Three minutes, 22 seconds to go. Diggs in motion on A.J. Green. Van Der Esch not getting them set up yet. Parsons lined up at edge. Five-man front. Play action for Murray with time. Out route caught by Zach Ertz. First down. Cowboys are starting their timeouts here soon. Cowboys use the timeout with two minutes, 57 seconds left to go in the ballgame. Anthony Brown beat by Zach Ertz, and that br that's brutal. They call it actually timeout 301 left. If you haven't already, folks, hit the big red button and subscribe. Free Cowboys videos every single day right here on the Dallas Cowboys Report. First and 10 from the 46 and a half yard line. Play clock down to 10, 301 to play in the ball game. Murray in the shotgun. Edmonds to his right. It's a quarterback speed option to Edmonds. There's nobody there. It's a first down. Cowboys call a timeout, 2.49 to play in the ballgame. I mean, Lawrence read that play right, but 2.49 to play in the ballgame.
Got to hold to a field goal here, folks. Play clock at Card Cowboys wanted a false start. Two, one. Delay of game. They don't call it speed option. Murray pitches it late to Edmonds. Edmonds stays in bounds. Ball pops out late, but he's down. Jay the Mime says, I think 11 and 5 looks good on us. That's what you're trending towards at this point. That was a delay of game, by the way. Oh, that might be a fumble. That might be a fumble. The Cowboys have no timeouts left. Officials have to step up here. They have to challenge that. Fuck you, NFL officiating. Murray keeps it, and he gets the first down. That is the whole purpose of the NFL crew in New York to buzz down and review that. It is a fumble, I think. What is the purpose of this? Their whole job is to buzz down and review this exact situation. They did this against the Cowboys this year. That is a fumble, and the refs just fucked the Cowboys. They just fucked them hard. The hope they instituted this this year, that you are allowed to buzz down to review plays in this exact situation. And they didn't do it. That was a clear and obvious fumble. And they didn't do it. Unfucking believable F the refs, man. That is BS. That they instituted that this year that you are allowed to buzz down and review this exact situation. And they didn't do it. Ruin the chance of a Cowboys winning the football game. That is a new rule. They are allowed to do it. Unreal. Absolutely unreal. Could have won the game, but the refs took away a chance. Unbelievable. Absolutely ruined it. It was a clear fumble. The refs in New York have one damn job, and they didn't do it. Absolute joke. Absolute joke. Complete BS. That is a new rule. You're allowed to do it. NFL officiating can suck it. Unbelievable. You are allowed to buzz down and do it. They did it in, in the Darren Waller play. And they didn't do it. Unreal. Absolute BS. NFL officiating is a goddamn joke. You are allowed to buzz down in that exact situation and you fucked up and missed the takeaway. Absolute BS. Absolute BS. Cardinals are going to win by three as the officials stole a chance for the Cowboys to pull off a miracle comeback. You are allowed to buzz down in that exact situation.
Would have been Cowboys football, two-minute warning, needing to get into field goal range. Instead, NFL officiating continues to be a goddamn joke. Type BS. I'm over these, these refs. Absolutely over it. You are allowed... This is, this is only on the officiating. I know McCarthy's out of timeouts. I know that. The NFL rules changed. A, call it correctly the first time. You're right there. Call it correctly. Secondly, you are allowed to buzz down for this exact situation. A pivotal moment to review a call that could change the game. And they didn't do it. It's a joke. It's an absolute joke. Yes, there's plenty of blame to go around. The offense had a bunch of penalties. The quarterback had a brutal fumble that absolutely killed you in this one. Defense didn't get a stop. You know what else is a minimum you should expect? The officials to not be cheeks at their job. And they've done it multiple times this year against the Dallas Cowboys. This call is perhaps the worst I have ever seen. How do you not buzz down? How do you not get the call correctly? You failed at your job. We have seen the officials this year. You saw it in the Darren Waller play. That was an incomplete catch that they overruled quickly. You can overturn those plays. You should have done that then and there if you're the NFL officiating. And you did not do it. Now, yeah, you should have had one extra time out there to... Challenge the play. You had to reset us. They were going to go for two. I get it. But the refs fucked up there. Like, there's no excusing it. You don't ever want to leave it in the hands of the officials. Welcome to life in the NFL against playoff teams. You're, you're going to have to. Keep the BSs coming. The officials are one of the many reasons the Cowboys lost. Like, the officials failed again. And this is not the first time this year that has happened. Is that score we're ready to go there, Jeremy? We'll take a brief break here, reset for our post-game show. I appreciate the Super Chats from Matthew and Greg and Jordan and Greg twice there. I'll drink some beer to you or crack up a new beer for you guys. It's a joke. Officials deprive the Cowboys and the NFL of a fantastic finish. Instead, they ruin a call late and blow it. Cardinals beat the Cowboys 25-22.
It's post-game reaction time here on the Cowboys Report, and I've had some time to cool off about the officials blowing the game again. I'm not cooled off at all. The refs screwed the Cowboys again, and I know it's fair. There's a lot of blame to go around. We'll get into it, but make no mistake, the refs fucked the Cowboys once again. Dallas loses by three. But they should have had a chance to win this ball game. Late in the game, the Cardinals driving, killing clock. It's a handoff to Chase Edmonds. He gets six yards. The ball gets ripped out. The Cowboys recover. The, the officials rule it's down. And there's no review because the Cowboys are out of timeouts. They cannot challenge. But wait, remember the new rule by the NFL this year. They are able to buzz down and review a clear turnover or play in this exact situation. This is why this rule was set up so that in a game-changing moment, the officials from New York can go, hey, 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 you messed up. That's okay, it happens. Let's get the call correct so we don't impact the game. That did not happen. That is a failure, a massive one by the officials. They've literally got one job. Get this call right. And it was a failure on the field. It happens. Tough angles. I get it. New York has to buzz down here. Fix the mistake made by their other their officiating crew. The refs were bad in this game. They were way too active early on. I get that. F the refs in the comment section. Type in F. Because they the Cowboys again, man. They ruined it. Multiple games this year. The Raiders game. And argue the Bucks game too, although maybe a little bit less so in that one. The refs have had a massive impact in this particular game. So I genuinely want to see thousands of Fs in the comments section because the officiating this year is a massive, massive problem, and it's going to screw somebody, Dallas, Arizona, Tampa, Green Bay, whoever, in the postseason out of a win. So if you get the ad break here on YouTube, take advantage of it. Head down. To the comments, the pinned comment in particular, and just flood it with Fs. That would be our sign to tell NFL, hey, fuck you guys. Never dropped a bird before on a Cowboys Report show, but I did it today. We'll see if, we'll see if that gets me in trouble at all. <laughs> all right, back to the game itself. I'll, I'll try to calm down a little bit here. I'm still just angry. Uh, the ground game for Dallas, by the way, <laughs> uh, Dak Prescott was the only run one who could run the football, and he had the back-breaking penalty of the fumble, by the way. Passing game was okay. This killed you. 6 of 14 on third downs. That is a very big deal for the Dallas Cowboys. And early penalties absolutely killed drives in this game. That is a major problem for the Dallas Cowboys. That is a major issue. Those, you can't convert a bunch of third and longs. It's not going to be ish, it's not going to be a, a thing. That's not how NFL teams operate. When teams move the ball good on offense, it's not because they're getting a bunch of third and long pickups. It's because they're moving the ball consistently. They had so many third and sevens or more. You're asking for a miracle out of your quarterback, which unquestionably you did not get today. This Cowboys team was sloppy. You don't want to leave it up to the officials. That's what happened in this game. The defense. Not as good. You should have had a, a game-changing takeaway deprived uh, from the officials in that one. They also weren't their best. 25 is a little bit more than what you want. Three of them coming off the Dak Prescott fumble. You got some key stops, but didn't always get key stops. And what I consider this team's biggest problem in the end is this. The Cowboys have an issue on third and long or second and long and allowing opposing teams to get those plays that is should be unsustainable has been an issue in big games though against the Cowboys so we'll see what happens on that front so do you believe in the Dallas Cowboys why for yes and for no do you believe in Dallas being a playoff team. Can they make a deep run? They're obviously a playoff team, but, you, but do you believe in them being the team, making that magical run we all so desperately want? Type in Y for yes or N for no. The big non-NFL officiating in-game news coming out of this one 
is Michael Gallup. And bad news here for Dallas Cowboys fans everywhere. Michael Gallup, folks, according to Dr. Jerry Jones himself, ruled out for the year with an ACL injury. He left the game on that touchdown catch, an awesome one, suffered that ACL injury. Jerry didn't say, I don't think for sure, if it was a full-fledged tear or more of a minor tear. Whatever it is, Jerry Jones sees, or Michael Gallup's season is over per Jerry Jones. There will be an MRI on Monday to confirm that news, but it feels like Michael Gallup's season is over. A brutal injury for a player who was about to get a bag in free agency. Now, I don't know what his future holds in Dallas or in the NFL contract-wise coming off an apparent season-ending ACL injury. So show some support for me in the comments section for Michael Gallup. Type in MG. He's a great football player. And this is the gut-wrenching, heartbreaking side of this sport. Players who are about to receive life-changing money that can set themselves and their families up for a very long time, now we're going to lose millions of dollars because their knee didn't cooperate and they suffered that injury. So I am heartbroken for Michael Gallup. I hope he comes back better than ever, but show some support by typing in MG for me in the comment section. We'll have more Cowboys news and rumors for you guys every single day right here on the Dallas Cowboys Report. Sub for free videos right here. This is your one-stop shop for everything you need to know on the Dallas Cowboys. So join us right here at the Cowboys Report. Remember I said I was, I was done being fired up? <laughs> I lied. I forgot about this part. Greg Zerline sucks. He ain't the guy. He's not the guy. The Cowboys this year have lost multiple games, and you can directly attribute it, even though there's plenty of blame to go around, to, to the kicker. The kicker is a problem for this team. Who here trusts Greg Zerline come playoff team or time? I don't. I sure as hell do not trust my kicker. The Cowboys this year have lost three games by a combined uh, eight points. Three-point loss, three-point loss, and a two-point loss to the Bucks, the Raiders, in overtime, by the way, and now the Cardinals. Greg Zerline in those three games has left 14 points on the board. He has cost you games because he failed at his job repeatedly in all but one of those games, by the way, missing multiple kicks. He has cost you games, and he is going to do it again. It is a problem. It is a real problem for Dallas, and you better hope come wild card round, divisional round, AFC, and NFC championship game round that he doesn't cost you again. He is killing you. Full stop. Don't pay kickers. You're paying Zerline, and he's still missing kicks for you. So what would you do with Greg the leg? You're probably not going to be able to cut him, but I'm still going to try to. Liam Hyralau, by the way, on a roster in Carolina. What would you do, my friends, with Greg the leg? Type K for keep or C for cut. Got some Cowboys jerseys for you guys now if you want to rep some Cowboys players. As low as $90. Not all of them, some of them on sale for under 90 bucks. Like the Zeke one who... Oh, Zeke, we'll get to you in a little bit, my friend, because he was bad today. Chatsports.com slash Cowboys jersey. Under 90 bucks. Some of them, they've got Micah Parsons ones. That's not under 90, but hey, he's a rookie, and he's been great for Dallas. I'll put that link in the comment section and in the description. So if you want a new Cowboys jersey, go get one today. Chatsports.com slash Cowboys jersey. Let's talk quarterback here. Dak Prescott. 24 of 38, for those of you who are not good at math, like, say, yours truly, 63%, 226 yards, three touchdowns. He averaged under six yards, but though it's not very good, Cardinals take him with a deep shot. The fumble, though, was an issue. That was a big-time problem. I don't think Dak played bad today. The fumble was a real problem. It would help if his receivers, namely Tony Pollard, Zeke Elliott, could catch passes couple third downs taken away by penalties. You need a little bit more out of, out of your quarterback. That's what you need in the end. You need a little bit more like this level of production. What Kyler Murray did is he remains undefeated at AT&T Stadium. Murray, 263, also by the way, chipped in 44 yards on the ground. The Cardinals 
had 127 yards on the ground against 45 for Dallas. That's a fairly sizable gap in the game on the ground for Arizona and for Dallas. So you need a little bit more out of Dak Prescott. You also need your offense to not be as sloppy. You're not going to convert third and longs. That's not how the NFL operates. I'm sorry. But pick a QB. The answer for this game, pretty clearly, Kyler Murray. Can't be fumbling there. He had a couple missed throws, nearly to Amari Cooper. I, by the way, for the record, I am convinced if Dallas gets that correct call from the officials, Dak leads them on the game winning touchdown drive. Fully convinced of it. Alas, too many mistakes early on. Pick a QB. DP for Dak Prescott, KM for Kyler Murray. The playoff picture now, not good for the Dallas Cowboys. They have fallen now to the four seed. A Rams loss would have helped you. Did not happen, especially in light of the loss against Arizona. Dallas is locked in at minimum to the number four seed. Now they need help. They need a loss from the Rams and or the Bucks And somebody, the Packers now can clinch the number one seed later tonight on Sunday night football was not a good showing by Dallas. And I think the likely outcome here, back against Arizona, at home, wild card round in the NFC wild card matchup, a revenge game for Dallas. So what do you think? What seed here will the Dallas Cowboys end up getting? I think it's the four seed. I, I think that's what they're going to end up getting here in this scenario. It is, make no mistake, a big time disappointment. Rams lost, they got you the three seed potentially. Did not happen. Let me know what you guys think they'll get. It's one, two, or th well, let's call it what it is. It's two, three, or four. You're not getting a one seed now. Two, three, or four. Let me know in the comments. More player talk here. Dalton Schultz was good catching the football. Great after the catch as well. Also, don't block. Don't have him block Chandler Jones. It's not a good idea. Um, he's normally a fine inline blocker. He's not great in space. That continues to be an issue. His numbers are great. He's going to get paid by somebody in the offseason. The running backs, Zeke Elliott, Tony Pollard. Tony Pollard, three carries, nine yards. Zeke Elliott, nine carries, 16 yards. The offensive line gets some blame there. You know what the offensive line can't be blamed for? Two brutal drops by both of these guys. Elliott in the chest. Pollard in the chest. Now, Pollard had a nice 31-yard play on the trick play from Cedric Wilson. Makes his numbers look a hell lot better than what they actually were for the most part. The running backs today, I think it was overshadowed by the penalties and the kicker and Dak missing some throws. They were probably the worst of your entire roster today. That's an issue. Micah Parsons did not get another sack, but he did have two more tackles for loss and was this close to another TFL. Leighton Van Der Esch actually led the team with 10 tackles. Now, a couple of those were way downfield, what you don't want. But after, I thought, a rough first drive, he settled in pretty decently. Trayvon Diggs, three tackles, bit hard on a double move against A.J. Green. They didn't throw at him that much, which is probably for the best, but uh, that double move really hurt Cowboys in the end. Jordan Lewis, meanwhile, I don't know what happened on this one. Uh... After an early drive, Jordan, or second half, I should say, Jordan Lewis left the game. Kelvin Joseph came in on the outside. Anthony Brown moved inside to the interior. I don't know if there was an injury. I don't know if there was a, a, a just benching of Jordan Lewis. I'm not really sure, but there was a distinct change for the Cowboys at corner. We'll have to wait and see what that means moving forward. If you haven't already, folks, Hit that big red button and subscribe today, youtube.com slash Cowboys TV for more free videos right here on the Dallas Cowboys Report. Some super chats, I'm ready to just shout them out here. Um, TJ says, Greg the leg, he's bad. JJ the mind, not even going to beat the Eagles. You blew up Philly by 20 the last time you played. Now, if you play bad again, okay, but you got to fare better. Uh, TJ, what if they called the, the delay and blew it dead? Maybe the refs get their call. I mean, look, the refs, that late stretch, missed a, a delay of game, and they missed a fumble. That's unacceptable by the officials. SCUJK says, cut Zerline. Roberto Pohl says, Dak keeps getting worse. See, he doesn't, though. 
I don't think this was a getting worse game. Now, he was, was against Washington, but if I had told you Dak was 24 of 38 for 226 and three touchdowns, I think you would have thought felt okay about Dallas winning. You need more. Make no mistake. But I don't think this is a, this is a Dak is getting worse game. He did rally late in that game, and I wonder how much play calling here deserves to be blamed there. Uh, I would. Why would I sit him? That doesn't make any sense. Mark, we will have beaten six winning teams since 2018. Our stars are overrated and overpaid. We pay good players leap money. No one left to fill the holes. I think he's right on that because you were bad in 2018 and you got hurt in 2019. So you you are three and three this year against above 500 teams. It's actually not that bad for this year alone. But we just want to ignore the Chargers Patriots game because that was earlier on in the particular game. So it's I get where you're coming from. That's life in the NFL. Uh, there are several players whose contracts are an issue, mostly next year, but I understand where you're coming from, my friend. What's up, Jeremy? Yeah, uh, well, hit me up on Twitter, guys. At what going down here? I'm sure I'll have plenty of DMs to, to discuss here in a little bit. Uh, what are you gonna do post game? I mean, we're gonna. Oh yeah, thank you guys for staying for the entire post game. You guys are awesome. I missed that point there. By the way, we're 100 likes away from a from a shot, so I'm gonna give you one right here. Just a freebie here before we sign off and get ready for, got to do some NFL playoff picture on our main channel. Got to do that video here. So, hit me up on Twitter, at WhatGoingDownie. We'll see you guys again next week. Cowboys, Eagles are making Jeremy wear a Cowboys jersey. Bottoms up. Hopefully the Cowboys play better and the refs don't fuck them again. Cheers.